17 miles southeast of Arcadia, moving north at 30 miles an hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This tornadic thunderstorm will remain over mainly rural areas of southwestern highlands and southeastern DeSoto counties. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning remains in effect until 2.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following county, DeSoto, Florida. Flood advisory in effect until 4.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this afternoon. What, flooding caused by excessive rainfall is expected? Where, a portion of southwest Florida, including the following county, Collier. When, until 4.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Impacts, minor flooding in low-lying and poor drainage areas. Additional details, at 1.04 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated a feeder band moving slowly north and northeast across the eastern metro areas of Collier County with heavy rains. Rainfall amounts of 1 to 3 inches are expected over the area with the heavy rains. Minor flooding is ongoing or expected... in southern Florida until 2.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 2.13 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Muir Haven, moving north at 45 miles Okay, hopefully you can hear me pretty good. Tornado. Source, radar indicated. We have 15 tornado warnings being forward. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs. Windows and vehicles will occur. Mountain, mountain Tree damage is, is likely. Still a category one. Location impact that they include Cluiston, Lakeport, and Brighton Seminole Reservation. Um, Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from there. flying debris. Heavy rainfall may hide this tornado. Do not wait to see or hear the Post tornado. Down uh, Take cover now. Torrential nine. rainfall is occurring Post with this happen. storm and may lead to flash flooding. Uh, Do not drive your vehicle through uh, flooded roadways. Repeating, a tornado oh, warning man. has been issued until 2.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight yes. Time for the following counties in Florida, One, Glades and five. Henry. Not available. Pressure nine. Point Flood advisory is canceled. The flood advisory is canceled for a portion of southwest Florida, including the following area, Collier. Flood waters have receded. The heavy rain has ended. Flooding is no longer expected to pose a threat. Please continue to heed remaining road closures. Flood advisory is canceled until 4.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this afternoon. What? Flooding caused by excessive rainfall. Uh, we're going to take a look at the, uh, the path. A portion of southwest uh, Florida, including the following county, Collier. When? Um, until 4.15 uh, p.m. Uh, Eastern Marlo. Daylight Time. Impacts. Minor flooding in low lying and poor drainage areas. That's wind. I'm sorry. Additional details at 1.04 p.m. Eastern. Uh, that's that was precipitation. I'm sorry. Um, okay. Let me get back here and reset this. A tornado warning remains in effect until 2.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for southeastern Collier and northern mainland Monroe counties. At 2.16 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Dade Collier Training Airport, over 22 miles east of Chocolate Key, moving north at 40 miles an hour. Hazard, tornado, source, radar indicated rotation. Impact. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, 
windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Big Cypress National Preserve. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors in a mobile home, yeah, one or in a vehicle, move minutes. to the closest substantial Just shelter and protect uh, yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning remains in effect until 2.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following county, Collier, right Florida. Flood advisory in effect until 4.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this afternoon. What? Flooding caused by excessive rainfall is expected. Where? A portion of southwest Florida, including the following county, Collier. When? Until 4.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Impacts, minor flooding in low-lying and poor drainage areas. Additional details at 1.04 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Doppler radar indicated a feeder band moving slowly north and northeast across the eastern metro areas of Collier County with heavy rains. Rainfall amounts of 1 to 3 inches are expected over the area with the heavy rains. Minor flooding is ongoing and expected to begin shortly in the advisory area. If the rainfall amounts yeah. increase more than forecast, then a flash flood warning may be needed for this area. Some locations that will experience flooding include Golden Gate Estates, Ave Maria, Orange Street, Intersection I-75 and Everglades Boulevard, Picayune Strand State Forest, South Bronx Gold and Poughkeepsie Strand State Preserve. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash Safety I'm slash step out again. Flood turn around. Don't drown when encountering yeah, flooded roads. This Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. Put on the flood advisory on. is canceled. The flood advisory is canceled for a portion of southwest Florida, yeah. including the following area, Collier. Flood waters have receded. The heavy rain has ended. Flooding is no longer expected to pose a threat. Please I'm continue to heed remaining yeah, road closures. Call. I'll be right back. Tornado watch number 690 remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties in Florida, yeah, Charlotte, yeah. Collier, DeSoto, Glades, Henry and Lee, and the following marine locations, Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island Sound, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 nautical miles, and coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 to 60 nautical miles. Remember, a tornado watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Repeating, Tornado Watch number 690 remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties in Florida, Charlotte, Collier, DeSoto, Glades, Henry and Lee, and the following marine locations, Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island Sound, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 nautical miles, and coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 to 60 nautical miles. A tornado warning remains in effect until 2.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for southwestern highlands and southeastern DeSoto counties. At 2.11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 11 miles northeast of Babcock Ranch, or 17 miles southeast of Arcadia, moving north at 30 miles an hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This tornadic thunderstorm will remain over mainly rural areas of southwestern highlands and southeastern DeSoto counties. Take cover now. Move to an interior... Service in Miami has issued a tornado warning for Eastern Henry County in Southern Florida, West Central Palm Beach County in Southeastern Florida until 2.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. 
At 2.21 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Big Cypress Seminole Reservation, over 20 miles south of Montreux, moving north at 50 miles an hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Lake Harbor and Big Cypress Seminole Reservation. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 2.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following county, Henry, Florida. Service in Ruskin has issued a tornado warning for Northwestern Highlands County in South Central Florida, Eastern Hardy County in Central Florida, Southeastern Polk County in Central Florida, Northeastern DeSoto County in South Central Florida, until 3 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 2.22 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Sylvan Shores, or near Lake Placid, moving north at 30 miles an hour. Hazard, Tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Sebring and Sebring Regional Airport around 2.25 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Avon Park around 2.35 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Lake Josephine, Lorita, Avon Park Executive Airport, Avon Park Air Force Range, Cruzville, Seabring Shores, and Placid Lakes. Take cover now. If your home is flooded, avoid flood waters. If possible, take shelter in an interior room. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 3 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following county, DeSoto, Florida. The tornado warning for southwestern highlands and southeastern DeSoto counties is canceled. The storm which prompted the warning has weakened below severe limits and no longer appears capable of producing a tornado. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for South Central Florida. Service in Miami has issued a tornado warning for West Central Glades County in Southern Florida until 2.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 2.24 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Palmdale, moving north at 50 miles an hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Palmdale. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 2.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following county, Glades, Florida.
National Weather Service in Miami has issued a tornado warning for East Central Collier County in southwestern Florida, Central Broward County in southeastern Florida, until 3 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 2.26 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Big Cypress National Preserve, over 26 miles northeast of Chocolatsky, moving north at 40 miles an hour. Hazard, Tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Miccosukee Indian Reservation, Miccosukee Service Plaza, and Big Cypress National Preserve. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 3 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following county, Collier, Florida. The tornado warning for Northern Henry County is canceled. The tornadic thunderstorm which prompted the warning has moved out of the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for Southern Florida. Flood advisory in effect until 4.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this afternoon. What flooding caused by excessive rainfall is expected? Where? A portion of southwest Florida, including the following county, Collier. When? Until 4.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Impacts, minor flooding in low-lying and poor drainage areas. Additional details, at 1.04 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated a feeder band moving slowly north and northeast across the eastern metro areas of Collier County with heavy rains. Rainfall amounts of 1 to 3 inches are expected over the area with the heavy rains. Minor flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly in the advisory area. If the rainfall amounts increase more than forecast, then a flash flood warning may be needed for this area. Some locations that will experience flooding include Golden Gate Estates, Ave Maria, Orange Street, Intersection I-75 and Everglades Boulevard, Piquet and Strand State Forest, South Locks Gold and Fikichi Strand State Preserve. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood turnaround don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. Tornado watch number 690 remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties in Florida, Charlotte, Collier, DeSoto, Glades, Henry and Lee, and the following marine locations, Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island Sound, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 nautical miles, and coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 to 60 nautical miles. Remember, a tornado watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Repeating, Tornado Watch number 690 remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties, in Florida, Charlotte, Collier, DeSoto, Glades, Henry and Lee, and the following marine locations, Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island Sound, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 nautical miles, and coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 to 60 nautical miles. A tornado warning remains in effect until 2.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for Eastern Glades County. At 2.27 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Lakeport, moving north at 45 miles an hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. 
damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Lakeport and Brighton Seminole Reservation. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from f The tornado warning remains in effect until 2.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for Northeastern Glades County. At 2.32 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located over Lakeport, moving north at 45 miles an hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Hazard, damaging tornado. Source, radar confirmed tornado. Impact, you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. Locations impacted include Lakeport and Brighton Seminole Reservation. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Heavy rainfall may hide this tornado. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. Torrential rainfall is occurring with this storm and may lead to flash flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. Repeating, a tornado warning remains in effect until 2.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following county, Glades, Florida. The tornado warning for southeastern Collier and north-central mainland Monroe counties is canceled. The storm which prompted the warning has moved out of the area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for southwestern Florida. The tornado warning for West Central Glades County is canceled. The storm which prompted the warning has moved out of the area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for Southern Florida. Remember, a tornado warning still remains in effect for Glades County near Lakeport until 2.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Radio WXK 83 Serving a Portion of Southwest Florida on a frequency of 162.475 MHz. A storm surge warning remains in effect and a hurricane warning remains in effect for the following counties in Florida, Coastal Charlotte, Coastal Citrus, Coastal Hernando, Coastal Hillsboro, Coastal Lee, Coastal Manatee, Coastal Pasco, Coastal Sarasota, Inland Lee and Pinellas. A storm surge warning remains in effect and a hurricane watch and tropical storm warning are both in effect for the following county, Coastal Collier, Florida. A hurricane watch and tropical storm warning are both in effect for the following counties, in Florida, Glades, Henry and Inland Collier. The National Weather Service in my... A tornado warning remains in effect until 2.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for Northeastern Henry and Western Palm Beach counties. At 2.36 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 10 miles southeast of Mantra, moving north at 50 miles an hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This tornadic thunderstorm will remain over mainly rural areas of northeastern Henry and western Palm Beach counties. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. 
Repeating, the tornado warning remains in effect until 2.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following county, Henry, Florida. The National Weather Service in Miami has issued a tornado warning for East Central Collier County in southwestern Florida, Central Broward County in southeastern Florida, until 3 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 2.26 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Big Cypress National Preserve, over 26 miles northeast of Chocolatsky, moving north at 40 miles an hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Miccosukee Indian Reservation, Miccosukee Service Plaza, and Big Cypress National Preserve. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 3 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following county, Collier, Florida. This is Norwaguete Radio WXK 83, serving a portion of Southwest Florida, on a frequency of 162.475 MHz. Service in Miami has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Collier County in southwestern Florida, north central mainland Monroe County in southwestern Florida, until 3.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 2.33 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Wilderness Waterway, or 21 miles southeast of Chocolatsky, moving north at 45 miles an hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Loop Road East Center and Big Cypress National Preserve. Take cover now. Move to an inch. The tornado warning for northeastern Henry and western Palm Beach counties will expire at 2.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. The storm which prompted the warning has weakened below severe limits and no longer appears capable of producing a tornado. Therefore, the warning will be allowed to expire. A tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for southern and southeastern Florida. Repeating, the tornado warning has been allowed to expire for the following county, Henry, Florida. The National Weather Service in Miami has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Collier County in southwestern Florida, north central mainland Monroe County in southwestern Florida, until 3.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 2.33 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Wilderness Waterway, or 21 miles southeast of Chocolatsky, moving north at 45 miles an hour. Hazard, Tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Loop Road East Center and Big Cypress National Preserve. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 3.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following county, Collier, Florida. The current time is 2.42 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Flood warning now in effect from this evening until further notice. What? Moderate flooding is forecast. Where? Horse Creek near Arcadia to SR-72. When? From this evening until further notice. Impacts? At 15 feet, Royal Park Estates are affected near State Road 72. A 
a tornado warning remains in effect until 3.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for southeastern Collier and north-central mainland Monroe counties. At 2.41 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Loop Road East Center, or 20 miles east of Chakalotsky, moving north at 45 miles an hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Loop Road East Center and Big Cypress National Preserve. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning remains in effect until 3.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following county, Collier, Florida. Flood warning now in effect from this evening until further notice. What? Moderate flooding is forecast. Where? Horse Creek near Arcadia at SR-72. When? From this evening until further notice. Impacts, at 15 feet, Royal Park Estates are affected near State Road 72. Additional details, at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday the stage was 10.8 feet. Bankful stage is 12 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage this evening and continue rising to 15 feet early Saturday morning. Additional rises are possible thereafter. Flood stage is 12 feet. Flood history, this crest compares to a previous crest of 15 feet on February 19, 1998. HTTPS, www.weather.gov slash, safety slash, flood. Flood warning now in effect from this evening until further notice. What, moderate flooding is forecast? Where, Peace River at Arcadia at ASR 70. When, from this evening until further notice. Impacts, at 15.5 feet, 25 homes at River Acres are impacted. Additional details, at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday the stage was 10.1 feet. Bankful stage is 10 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage late this evening and continue rising to 15.3 feet Monday morning. Additional rises are possible thereafter. Flood stage is 11 feet. Flood history, this crest compares to a previous crest of 15.3 feet on September 1, 1939. HTTPS, www.weather.gov slash, safety slash, flood. Flood warning now in effect from Friday morning until further notice. What, minor flooding is forecast? Where, fish eating creek near... Service in Miami has issued a tornado warning for North Central Glades County in Southern Florida until 3 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 2.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located near Brighton Seminole Reservation, over 9 miles north of Lakeport, moving north at 40 miles an hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Hazard, damaging tornado. Source, radar confirmed tornado. Impact, you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. Locations impacted include, Brighton Seminole Reservation. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 3 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following county, Glades, Florida. The tornado warning for northeastern Glades County has expired. The 
storm which prompted the warning has moved out of the area. Therefore, the warning has been allowed to expire. A tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for Southern Florida. Remember, a tornado warning still remains in effect for Glades County near Brighton Seminole Reservation. Repeating, the tornado warning has been allowed to expire for the following county, Glades, Florida. Flood warning now in effect from Friday morning until further notice. What, minor flooding is forecast? Where, Fish Eating Creek near Palmdale. When, from Friday morning until further notice. Impacts, at 7 feet, Fish Eating Creek is at flood stage. Access road to campground and the bathhouse are flooded. Additional details, at 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday the stage was 6.2 feet. Bankful stage is 5.0 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage Friday morning and continue rising to a crest of 7.5 feet Saturday morning. Flood stage is 7 feet. Flood history, this crest compares to a previous crest of 7.5 feet on September 17, 1979. HTTP colon slash slash www dot weather The National Weather Service in Miami has issued a tornado warning for Northeastern Collier County in southwestern Florida, southeastern Henry County in southern Florida, northern Broward County in southeastern Florida, southwestern Palm Beach County in southeastern Florida, until 3.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 2.48 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Big Cypress Seminole Reservation, over 29 miles south of Montreux, moving north at 45 miles an hour. Hazard, Tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Rotenberger Wildlife Refuge and Big Cypress Seminole Reservation. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 3.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties, in Florida, Collier and Henry. The tornado warning for East Central Collier and Central Broward counties is canceled. The storm which prompted the warning has moved out of the area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for southeastern and southwestern Florida. Flood warning now in effect from Friday morning until further notice. What? Minor flooding is forecast. Where? Fish Eating Creek near Palmdale. When? From Friday morning until further notice. Impacts, at 7 feet, Fish Eating Creek is at flood stage. Access road to campground and the bathhouse are flooded. Additional details, at 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday the stage was 6.2 feet. Bankful stage is 5.0 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage Friday morning and continue rising to a crest of 7.5 feet Saturday morning. Flood stage is 7 feet. Flood history, this crest compares to a previous crest of 7.5 feet on September 17, 1979. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash The National Weather Service in Miami has issued a tornado warning for Northeastern Henry County in Southern Florida, West Central Palm Beach County in Southeastern Florida, until 3.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 2.51 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Lake Harbor, moving north at 45 miles an hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. 
impact. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Clewiston and Lake Harbor. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 3.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following county, Henry, Florida. The tornado warning for North Central Glades County will expire at 3 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. The storm which prompted the warning has moved out of the area. Therefore, the warning will be allowed to expire. A tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for Southern Florida. Repeating, the tornado warning has been allowed to expire for the following county, Glades, Florida. Flood warning now in effect from Friday morning until further notice. What? Minor flooding is forecast. Where? Fish Eating Creek near Palmdale. When? From Friday morning until further notice. Impacts. At 7 feet, Fish Eating Creek is at flood stage. Access road to campground and the bathhouse are flooded. Additional details. At 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday the stage was 6.2 feet. Bankful stage is 5.0 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage Friday morning and continue rising to a crest of 7.5 feet Saturday morning. Flood stage is 7 feet. Flood history, this crest compares to a previous crest of 7.5 feet on September 17, 1979. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood. Flood advisory in effect until 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this afternoon. What? Flooding caused by excessive rainfall is expected. Where? Portions of southeast and southern Florida, including the following counties, in southeast Florida, Palm Beach. In southern Florida, Henry. When? Until 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Impacts. Minor flooding in low-lying and poor drainage areas. Additional details, at 2.53 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated training heavy rains. Minor flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly in the advisory area. Between 1 and 3 inches of rain have fallen during the last hour. Additional rainfall amounts of 1 to 2 inches are expected over the area during the next hour or so. This additional rain will result in minor flooding. Some locations that will experience flooding include Clewiston and Lake Harbor. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood turnaround. Don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. Be aware of your surroundings and do not drive on flooded roads. Please report observed flooding to local emergency services or law enforcement and request they pass this information to the National Weather Service when you can do so safely. Tornado Watch number 690 remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties in Florida, Charlotte, Collier, DeSoto, Glades, Henry and Lee, and the following marine locations, Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island Sound, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 nautical miles, and coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 to 60 nautical miles. Remember, a tornado watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The tornado warning for southeastern Collier and north central mainland Monroe counties is canceled. The storm which prompted the warning has weakened below severe limits and has exited the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for southwestern Florida. To report severe weather, contact your nearest law enforcement agency. They will relay your report to the National Weather Service Miami. 
You can also share your report with National Weather Service Miami on Facebook and Twitter. Tornado watch number 690 remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties in Florida, Charlotte, Collier, DeSoto, Glades, Henry and Lee, and the following marine locations, Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island Sound, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 nautical miles, and coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 to 60 nautical miles. Remember, a tornado watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for... Service in Ruskin has issued a tornado warning for Northwestern Highlands County in South Central Florida, Eastern Hardy County in Central Florida, Southern Polk County in Central Florida, Northeastern DeSoto County in South Central Florida until 3.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 2.58 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Sebring, moving north at 55 miles an hour. Hazard, Tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Sebring and Avon Park around 3.05 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Homeland, Alturas, Indian Lake Estates, Crooked Lake Park, Cross Proof, Lake Josephine, Wanada, Fort Meade, Lorita, and Hillcrest Heights. Take cover now. If your home is flooded, avoid flood waters. If possible, take shelter in an interior room. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 3.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following county, DeSoto, Florida. The tornado warning for northeastern Collier and northern Broward counties is canceled. The tornadic thunderstorm which prompted the warning has moved out of the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for Southern and Southeastern Florida. Tornado watch number 690 remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties in Florida, Charlotte, Collier, DeSoto, Glades, Henry and Lee, and the following marine locations, Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island Sound, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 nautical miles, and coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 to 60 nautical miles. Remember, a tornado watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Repeating, Tornado Watch number 690 remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties in Florida, Charlotte, Collier, DeSoto, Glades, Henry and Lee, and the following marine locations, Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island Sound, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 nautical miles, and coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 to 60 nautical miles. The tornado warning for southeastern Collier and north central mainland Monroe counties is canceled. The storm which prompted the warning has weakened below severe limits and has exited the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for southwestern Florida. To report severe weather, contact your nearest law enforcement agency. They will relay your report to the National Weather Service Miami. You can also share your report with National Weather Service Miami on Facebook and Twitter. The tornado warning for northeastern Collier and northern Broward counties is canceled. 
the tornadic thunderstorm which prompted the warning has moved out of the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for Southern and Southeastern Florida. A tornado warning remains in effect until 3.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for East Central Henry and Southwestern Palm Beach counties. At 2.58 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Rotenberger Wildlife Refuge, over 23 miles south of Lake Harbor, moving north at 45 miles an hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Rotenberger Wildlife Refuge. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning remains in effect until 3.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following county, Henry. Service in Miami has issued a tornado warning for East Central Collier County in southwestern Florida, Central Broward County in southeastern Florida, until 3.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 3.03 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 8 miles east of Big Cypress National Preserve, or 29 miles northeast of Chaka Lofi, moving north at 45 miles an hour. Hazard, Tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Miccosukee Indian Reservation, Miccosukee Service Plaza, and Big Cypress National Preserve. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 3.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following county, Collier, Florida. The tornado warning for northeastern Henry and west central Palm Beach counties is canceled. The storm which prompted the warning has moved out of the area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for southern and southeastern Florida. Remember, a tornado warning still remains in effect for west central Palm Beach County until 3.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Servina Portio North Southwest Florida, on a frequency of 162.475 MHz. A storm surge warning remains in effect and a hurricane warning remains in effect for the following counties in Florida, Coastal Charlotte, Coastal Citrus, Coastal Hernando, Coastal Hillsboro, Coastal Lee, Coastal Manatee, Coastal Pasco, Coastal Sarasota, Inland Lee and Pinellas. A storm surge warning remains in effect and a hurricane watch and tropical storm warning are both in effect for the following county, Coastal Collier, Florida. A hurricane watch and tropical storm warning are both in effect for the following counties, in Florida. The tornado warning for East Central Henry County is canceled. The tornadic thunderstorm which prompted the warning has moved out of the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for southeastern Florida. A hurricane watch and tropical storm warning are both in effect for the following counties, in Florida, Glades, Henry and Inland Collier. 
the National Weather Service in Ruskin has issued a tornado warning for northwestern Highlands County in South Central Florida, eastern Hardy County in Central Florida, southern Polk County in Central Florida, northeastern DeSoto County in South Central Florida, until 3.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 2.58 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Sebring, moving north at 55 miles an hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Sebring and Avon Park around 3.05 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Homeland, Alturas, Indian Lake Estates, Crooked Lake Park, Frostproof, Lake Josephine, Wanada, Fort Meade, Lorita, and Hillcrest Heights. Take cover now. If your home is flooded, avoid flood waters. If possible, take shelter in an interior room. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 3.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following county, DeSoto, Florida. The National Weather Service in Miami has issued a tornado warning for East Central Collier County in southwestern Florida, Central Broward County in southeastern Florida, until 3.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 3.03 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 8 miles east of Big Cypress National Preserve, or 29 miles northeast of Chocolatsky, moving north at 45 miles an hour. Hazard, Tornado. Source, Radar Indicated Rotation. Impact, Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Miccosukee Indian Reservation, Miccosukee Service Plaza, and Big Cypress National Preserve. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 3.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following county, Collier, Florida. The current time is 3.10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Flood warning now in effect from this evening until further notice. What? Moderate flooding is forecast. Where? Horse Creek near Arcadia at SR-72. When? From this evening until further notice. Impacts, at 15 feet, Royal Park Estates are affected near State Road 72. Additional details, at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday the stage was 10.8 feet. Bankful stage is 12 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage this evening and continue rising to 15 feet early Saturday morning. Additional rises are possible thereafter. Flood stage is 12 feet. Flood history, this crest compares to a previous crest of 15 feet on February 19, 1998. HTTPS, www.weather.gov, safety, slash, flood. Flood warning now in effect from this evening until further notice. What, moderate flooding is forecast? Where, Peace River at Arcadia at SR-70. When, from this evening until further notice. Impacts, at 15.5 feet, 25 homes at River Acres are impacted. Additional details, at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday the stage was 10.1 feet. The bankful stage is 10 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage late this evening and continue rising to 15.3 feet Monday morning. Additional rises are possible thereafter. Flood stage is 11 feet. Flood history, this crest compares to a previous crest of 15.3 feet on September 1, 1939. HTTPS, www.weather.gov slash, safety slash, flood. Flood warning now in effect from Friday morning until further notice. What, minor flooding is forecast? Where, Fishing Creek near Palmdale. 
when from Friday morning until further notice. Impacts at 7 feet. Fish Eating Creek is at flood stage. Access road to campground and the bathhouse are flooded. Additional details at 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday the stage was 6.2 feet. The bankful stage is 5.0 feet. Forecast the river. Service in Tampa Bay Ruskin has issued a flash flood warning for Hardy County in Central Florida, Hope County in Central Florida, Northeastern DeSoto County in South Central Florida, Highlands County in South Central Florida, Hillsborough County in West Central Florida, Manatee County in West Central Florida, until 6.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 3.12 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated heavy rain across the warned area. Between 2 and 4 inches of rain have fallen. Additional rainfall amounts of 2 to 4 inches are possible in the warned area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, flash flooding caused by heavy rain. Source, radar. Impact, flash flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other poor drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Tampa, Lakeland, Plant City, Winter Haven, Temple Terrace, Kane City, Bardo, Lake Wales, Auburndale, Sebring, Avon Park, Wachula, Lake Placid, Fish Hawk, Brandon, Roots, Anna, January File Village, Medulla and Fussell's Corner. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. Be aware of your surroundings and do not drive on flooded roads. Flood warning now in effect from Friday morning until further notice. What? Minor flooding is forecast. Where? Fish Eating Creek near Palmdale. When? From Friday morning until further notice. Impacts at 7 feet. Fish Eating Creek is at flood stage. Access road to campground and the bathhouse are flooded. Additional details, at 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday the stage was 6.2 feet. The bankful stage is 5.0 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage Friday morning and continue rising to a crest of 7.5 feet Saturday morning. Flood stage is 7 feet. Flood history, this crest compares to a previous crest of 7.5 feet on September 17, 1979. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood. Flood advisory in effect until 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this afternoon. What? Flooding caused by excessive rainfall is expected. Where? Portions of southeast and southern Florida, including the following counties, in southeast Florida, Palm Beach. In southern Florida, Henry. When? Until 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Impacts, minor flooding in low-lying and poor drainage areas. Additional details, at 2.53 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated training heavy rains. Minor flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly in the advisory area. Between 1 and 3 inches of rain have fallen during the last hour. Additional rainfall amounts of 1 to 2 inches are expected over the area during the next hour or so. This additional rain will result in minor flooding. Some locations that will experience flooding include Clewiston and Lake Harbor. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood turnaround don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. Be aware of your surroundings and do not drive on flooded roads. Please report observed flooding to local emergency services or law enforcement and request they pass this information to the National Weather Service when you can do so safely. Tornado Watch number 690 remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties in Florida, Charlotte, Collier, DeSoto, Glades, Henry and Lee, and the following marine locations, Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island Sound, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 nautical miles, and coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 to 60 nautical miles.
Remember, a tornado watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watched area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, Commercial Radio and Television. The tornado warning for eastern Harvey and northeastern DeSoto counties is canceled. The tornadic thunderstorm which prompted the warning has moved out of the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. The tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for South Central and Central Florida. The tornado warning remains in effect until 3.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for East Central Collier and Central Broward Counties. At 3.17 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located over Miccosukee Indian Reservation, over 35 miles east of Ave Maria, moving north at 45 miles an hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Hazard, damaging tornado. Source, radar confirmed tornado. Impact, you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. Locations impacted include Miccosukee Indian Reservation, Miccosukee Service Plaza, and Big Cypress National Preserve. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning remains in effect until 3.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following county, Collier, Florida. Tornado watch number 690 remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties, in Florida, Charlotte, Collier, DeSoto, Glades, Henry and Lee, and the following marine locations, Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island Sound, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 nautical miles, and coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 to 60 nautical miles. Remember, a tornado watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watched area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Repeating, Tornado Watch number 690 remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties, in Florida, Charlotte, Collier, DeSoto, Glades, Henry and Lee, and the following marine locations, Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island Sound, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 nautical miles, and coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 to 60 nautical miles. The tornado warning for eastern Harvey and northeastern DeSoto counties is canceled. The tornadic thunderstorm which prompted the warning has moved out of the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for South Central and Central Florida. A tornado warning remains in effect until 3.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for East Central Collier and Central Broward Counties. At 3.17 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located over Miccosukee Indian Reservation, over 35 miles east of Ave Maria, moving north at 45 miles an hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Hazard, damaging tornado. Source, radar confirmed tornado. Impact, you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. Locations impacted include Miccosukee Indian Reservation, Miccosukee Service Plaza, and Big Cypress National Preserve. 
To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, the tornado warning remains in effect until 3.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following county, Collier, Florida. The National Weather Service in Tampa Bay Ruskin has issued a flash flood warning for Hardy County in Central Florida, Hope County in Central Florida, Northeastern DeSoto County in South Central Florida, Highlands County in South Central Florida, Hillsborough County in West Central Florida, Manatee County in West Central Florida, until 6.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 3.12 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated heavy rain across the warned area. Between 2 and 4 inches of rain have fallen. Additional rainfall amounts of 2 to 4 inches are possible in the warned area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, flash flooding caused by heavy rain. Source, radar. Impact, flash flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other poor drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Tampa, Lakeland, Plant City, Winter Haven, Temple Terrace, King City, Bardo, Lake Wales, Auburndale, Sebring, Avon. Service in Miami has issued a tornado warning for Eastern Collier County in southwestern Florida, Northern Broward County in southeastern Florida, until 3.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 3.23 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over a Miccosukee Indian Reservation, over 34 miles south of Montreux, moving north at 40 miles an hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Miccosukee Indian Reservation. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 3.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following county, Collier, Florida. The tornado warning for East Central Collier and Central Broward counties will expire at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. The tornado warning that was previously in effect has been reissued for Collier and Broward counties and is in effect until 3.45. Please refer to the bulletin for the latest severe weather information. The tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for southeastern and southwestern Florida. Repeating, the tornado warning has been allowed to expire for the following county, Collier, Florida. The National Weather Service in Tampa Bay Ruskin has issued a flash flood warning for Hardy County in Central Florida, Hope County in Central Florida, Northeastern DeSoto County in South Central Florida, Highlands County in South Central Florida, Hillsborough County in West Central Florida, Manatee County in West Central Florida, until 6.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 3.12 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated heavy rain across the warned area. Between 2 and 4 inches of rain have fallen. Additional rainfall amounts of 2 to 4 inches are possible in the warned area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, flash flooding caused by heavy rain. Source, radar. Impact, flash flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other poor drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Tampa, Lakeland, Plant City, Winter Haven, Temple Terrace, King City, Bardo, Lake Wales, Auburndale, Sebring, Avon Park, Wachula, Lake Placid, Fish Hawk, Brandon, Roots, 
and on January 5th Village, Medulla and Fussell's Corner. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. Be aware of your surroundings and do not drive on flooded roads. These are the 3 p.m. observations for the local area on Wednesday, October 9th. At Fort Myers Page Field, it was cloudy. The temperature was 83 degrees, the dew point 76, and the relative humidity 79%. The wind was southeast at 20 miles an hour, gusting to 38. The pressure was 29.44 inches and falling. At Southwest International, visibility 10 miles. Wind was south at 25 miles an hour. And the pressure was 29.47 inches and falling. At Punta Gorda, light rain was falling. The temperature was 83 degrees, the dew point 78, and the relative humidity 85%. The wind was southeast at 20 miles an hour, gusting to 32. The pressure was 29.47 inches and falling. Rain was falling, with a temperature of 73 at Orlando, and 78 at Sarasota Bradenton Airport. At Key West, haze was reported, with a temperature of 87. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 84 at Naples, 85 at West Palm Beach, and 87 at Miami. At Tampa International, rain and fog were reported, with a temperature of 75. At St. Pete Clearwater Airport, rain and fog were reported, with a temperature of 76. At Venice Municipal Airport, mixed precipitation was falling. Marine reports along the coast and offshore buoys. At the Sea Man site at Venice, winds were east at 70 knots. Sea temperature 83 degrees. Air temperature 80 degrees. At 100 miles west of Bayport, winds were northeast at 35 knots. Air temperature 77 degrees. Wave height 13 feet. Wave period 8 seconds. The report from 210 miles west of Captiva was not available. This is Globe Radio WXK 83, serving a portion of Southwest Florida, on a frequency of 62.475 MHz. A storm surge warning remains in effect and a hurricane warning remains in effect for the following counties in Florida, Coastal Charlotte, Coastal Citrus, Coastal Hernando, Coastal Hillsboro, Coastal Lee, Coastal Manatee, Coastal Pasco, Coastal Sarasota, Inland Lee and Pinellas. A storm surge warning remains in effect and a hurricane watch and tropical storm warning are both in effect for the following county, Coastal Collier, Florida. A hurricane watch and tropical storm warning are both in effect for the following counties in Florida, Glades, Henry and Inland Collier. The National Weather Service in Miami has issued a tornado warning for Eastern Collier County in southwestern Florida, Northern Broward County in southeastern Florida, until... until 3.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for Northeastern Collier and Northern Broward Counties. At 3.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Miccosukee Indian Reservation, or 29 miles south of Lake Harbor, moving north at 40 miles an hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This tornadic thunderstorm will remain over mainly rural areas of northeastern Collier and northern Broward counties. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning remains in effect until 3.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following county, Collier, Florida. Flood warning now in effect from this evening until further notice. What, moderate flooding is forecast? Where, Peace River at Arcadia at ASR 70. When, from this evening until further notice. Impacts, at 15.5 feet, 25 homes at river acres are impacted. 
Additional details. At 9.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday, the stage was 10.1 feet. The bankful stage is 10 feet. Forecast. The river is expected to rise above flood stage late this evening and continue rising to 15.3 feet Monday morning. Additional rises are possible thereafter. Flood stage is 11 feet. Flood history. This crest compares to a previous crest of 15.3 feet on September 1, 1939. HTTPS www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood Flood warning now in effect from Friday morning until further notice What? Minor flooding is forecast Where? Fish eating creek near Palmdale When? From Friday morning until further notice Impacts at 7 feet Fish eating creek is at flood stage Access road to campground and the bathhouse are flooded Additional details, at 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday the stage was 6.2 feet. Bankful stage is 5.0 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage Friday morning and continue rising to a crest of 7.5 feet Saturday morning. Flood stage is 7 feet. Flood history, this crest compares to a previous crest of 7.5 feet on September 17, 1979. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood Flood advisory in effect until 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this afternoon What? Flooding caused by excessive rainfall is expected Where? Portions of southeast and southern Florida, including the following counties In southeast Florida, Palm Beach In southern Florida, Henry when, until 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, the tornado warning for northeastern Collier and northern Broward counties is canceled. The storm which prompted the warning has weakened below severe limits and has exited the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. The tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for southeastern and southwestern Florida. Flood advisory in effect until 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this afternoon. What? Flooding caused by excessive rainfall is expected. Where? Portions of southeast and southern Florida, including the following counties, in southeast Florida, Palm Beach. In southern Florida, Henry. When? Until 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Impacts, minor flooding in low-lying and poor drainage areas. Additional details, at 2.53 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated training heavy rains. Minor flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly in the advisory area. Between 1 and 3 inches of rain have fallen during the last hour. Additional rainfall amounts of 1 to 2 inches are expected over the area during the next hour or so. This additional rain will result in minor flooding. Some locations that will experience flooding include Clewiston and Lake Harbor. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood turnaround don't drown when encountering flooded roads most of flood deaths occur in vehicles be aware of your surroundings and do not drive on flooded roads please report observed flooding to local emergency services or law enforcement and request they pass this information to the national weather service when you can do so safely tornado watch number 690 remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties in Florida, Charlotte, Collier, DeSoto, Glades, Henry and Lee, and the following marine locations, Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island Sound, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 nautical miles, and coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 to 60 nautical miles. Remember, a tornado watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Repeating, Tornado Watch number 690 remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties, in Florida, Charlotte, Collier, DeSoto, Glades, Henry and Lee, and the following marine locations, Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island Sound, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 nautical miles, and coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 to 60 nautical miles. The 
tornado warning for northeastern Collier and northern Broward counties is canceled. The storm which prompted the warning has weakened below severe limits and has exited the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for southeastern and southwestern Florida. The National Weather Service in Tampa Bay, Ruskin has issued a flash flood warning for Hardy County in Central Florida, Hope County in Central Florida, Northeastern DeSoto County in South Central Florida, Highlands County in South Central Florida, Hillsborough County in West Central Florida, Manatee County in West Central Florida, until 6.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 3.12 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated heavy rain across the warm area. Between 2 and 4 inches of rain have fallen. Additional rainfall amounts of 2 to 4 inches are possible in the warm area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, flash flooding caused by heavy rain. Source, radar. Impact, flash flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other poor drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Tampa, Lakeland, Plant City, Winter Haven, Temple Terrace, King City, Mardo, Lake Wales, Auburndale, Sebring, Avon Park, Wachula, Lake Placid, Fish Hawk, Brandon, Roots, and uh, January File Village, Medulla and Fussell's Corner. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. Be aware of your surroundings and do not drive on flooded roads. These are the 3 p.m. observations for the local area on Wednesday, October 9th. At Fort Myers Page Field, it was cloudy. The temperature was 83 degrees, the dew point 76, and the relative humidity 79%. The wind was southeast at 20 miles an hour, gusting to 38. The pressure was 29.44 inches and falling. At Southwest International, visibility 10 miles. Wind was south at 25 miles an hour. And the pressure was 29.47 inches and falling. At Punta Gorda, light rain was falling. The temperature was 83 degrees, the dew point 78, and the relative humidity 85%. The wind was southeast at 20 miles an hour, gusting to 32. The pressure was 29.47 inches and falling. Rain was falling, with a temperature of 73 at Orlando, and 78 at Sarasota Bradenton Airport. At Key West, haze was reported, with a temperature of 87. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 84 at Naples, 85 at West Palm Beach, and 87 at Miami. At Tampa International, rain and fog were reported, with a temperature of 75. At St. Pete Clearwater Airport, rain and fog were reported, with a temperature of 76. At Venice Municipal Airport, mixed precipitation was falling. Marine reports along the coast and offshore buoys. At the sea man site at Venice. Winds were east at 70 knots. Sea temperature 83 degrees. Air temperature 80 degrees. At 100 miles west of Bayport. Winds were northeast at 35 knots. Air temperature 77 degrees. Wave heights 13 feet. Wave period 8 seconds. The report from 210 miles west of Kaptiva was not available. A storm surge warning remains in effect and a hurricane warning remains in effect for the following counties in Florida, Coastal Charlotte, Coastal Citrus, Coastal Hernando, Coastal Hillsboro, Coastal Lee, Coastal Manatee, Coastal Pasco, Coastal Sarasota, Inland Lee and Pinellas. A storm surge warning remains in effect and a hurricane watch and tropical storm warning are both in effect for the following county, Coastal Collier, Florida. A hurricane watch and tropical storm warning are both in effect for the following counties, in Florida, Glades, Pendry and Inland Collier. The current time is 3.41 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Flood warning now in effect from this evening until further notice. What? Moderate flooding is forecast. Where? Horse Creek near Arcadia at ASR 72. When? From this evening until further notice. Impacts? At 15 feet, Royal Park Estates are affected near State Road at 72. Additional details? At 9.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday the stage was 10.8 feet. Bank 
rainfall stage is 12 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage this evening and continue rising to 15 feet early Saturday morning. Additional rises are possible thereafter. Flood stage is 12 feet. Flood history, this crest compares to a previous crest of 15 feet on February 19, 1998. HTTPS, www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood. Flood warning now in effect from this evening until further notice. What, moderate flooding is forecast? Where, Peace River at Arcadia at ASR 70? When, from this evening until further notice. Impacts, at 15.5 feet, 25 homes at River Acres are impacted. Additional details, at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday the stage was 10.1 feet. Bankful stage is 10 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage late this evening and continue rising to 15.3 feet Monday morning. Additional rises are possible thereafter. Flood stage is 11 feet. Flood history, this crest compares to a previous crest of 15.3 feet on September 1, 1939. HTTPS, www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood. Pichisco Aguaguete, Radio WXK 83, Servín a Porte o Nuf Southwest Florida, Ona Frequencia 162.475 MHz. Flood warning now in effect from Friday morning until further notice. What, minor flooding is forecast? Where, Fish Eating Creek near Palmdale? When, from Friday morning until further notice. Impacts, at 7 feet, Fish Eating Creek is at flood stage. Access road to campground and the bathhouse are flooded. Additional details, at 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday the stage was 6.2 feet. Bankful stage is 5.0 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage Friday morning and continue rising to a crest of 7.5 feet Saturday morning. Flood stage is 7 feet. Flood history, this crest compares to a previous crest of 7.5 feet on September 17, 1979. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood. Flood advisory in effect until 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this afternoon. What, flooding caused by excessive rainfall is expected? Where, portions of southeast and southern Florida, including the following counties, in southeast Florida, Palm Beach. In southern Florida, Henry. When, until 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Impacts, minor flooding in low-lying and poor drainage areas. Additional details, at 2.53 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated training heavy rains. Minor flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly in the advisory area. Between 1 and 3 inches of rain have fallen during the last hour. Additional rainfall amounts of 1 to 2 inches are expected over the area during the next hour or so. This additional rain will result in minor flooding. Some locations that will experience flooding include Clewiston and Lake Harbor. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood turnaround. Don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. Be aware of your surroundings and do not drive on flooded roads. Please report observed flooding to local emergency services or law enforcement and request they pass this information to the National Weather Service when you can do so safely. Tornado Watch number 690 remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties in Florida, Charlotte, Collier, DeSoto, Glades, Henry and Lee, and the following marine locations, Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island Sound, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 nautical miles, and coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 to 60 nautical miles. Remember, a tornado watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Repeating, 
Tornado Watch number 690 remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties in Florida, Charlotte, Collier, DeSoto, Glades, Henry and Lee, and the following marine locations, Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island Sound, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 nautical miles, and coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 to 60 nautical miles. The tornado warning for northeastern Collier and northern Broward counties is canceled. The storm which prompted the warning has weakened below severe limits and has exited the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for southeastern and southwestern Florida. The National Weather Service in Tampa Bay Ruskin has issued a flash flood warning for Hardy County in Central Florida, Hope County in Central Florida, Northeastern DeSoto County in South Central Florida, Highlands County in South Central Florida, Hillsborough County in West Central Florida, Manatee County in West Central Florida, until 6.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 3.12 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated heavy rain across the warned area. Between 2 and 4 inches of rain have fallen. Additional rainfall amounts of 2 to 4 inches are possible in the warned area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, flash flooding caused by heavy rain. Source, radar. Impact, flash flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other poor drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Tampa, Lakeland, Plant City, Winter Haven, Temple Terrace, Kane City, Bardo, Lake Wales, Albemarle, Sebring, Avon Park, Wachula, Lake Placid, Fish Hawk, Brandon, Roots, Anna, January File Village, Medola and Fussell's Corner. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Be aware of your surroundings and do not drive on flooded roads. This is NOAA Weather Radio WYOUXK83, the voice of the National Weather Service, broadcasting at a frequency of 162.475 MHz. The tower for WXK83 is located near Fort Myers, in Lee County, and serves southwest Florida, with programming originating from the National Weather Service office in Ruskin. The station provides warning alerts for Lee, Charlotte, DeSoto, Glades, Henry, and Collier Counties. The current time is 3.50 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. A hurricane warning remains in effect for the following counties in Florida, Coastal Levy, D.E. Soto, R.D., Highlands, Inland Charlotte, Inland Citrus, Inland Hernando, Inland Hillsboro, Inland Levy, Inland Manatee, Inland Pasco, Inland Sarasota, Polk and Sumter. Tide forecast at Fort Myers Beach, high tide Thursday at 4.49 a.m. Low tide Thursday at 1.50 p.m. Tide forecast at Punta Gorda, low tide Wednesday at 3.31 p.m. High tide Thursday at 7.05 a.m. A storm surge warning remains in effect and a hurricane warning remains in effect for the following counties in Florida, Coastal Charlotte, Coastal Citrus, Coastal Hernando, Coastal Hillsboro, Coastal Lee, Coastal Manatee, Coastal Pasco, Coastal Sarasota, Inland Lee and Pinellas. A storm surge warning remains in effect and a hurricane watch and tropical storm warning are both in effect for the following county, Coastal Collier, Florida. A hurricane watch and tropical storm warning are both in effect for the following counties, in Florida, Glades, Henry and Inland Collier. Flood warning now in effect from this evening until further notice. What? Moderate flooding is forecast. Where? Horse Creek near Arcadia at SR-72. When, from this evening until further notice. Impacts, at 15 feet, Royal Park Estates are affected near State Road 72. Additional details, at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday the stage was 10.8 feet. Bankful stage is 12 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage this evening and continue rising to 15 feet early Saturday morning. Additional rises are possible thereafter. Flood stage is 12 feet. Flood history. This crest compares to a previous crest of 15 feet on February 19, 1998. HTTPS www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood.
flood warning now in effect from this evening until further notice. What? Moderate flooding is forecast. Where? Peace River at Arcadia at ASR 70. When? From this... ages 11 feet. Flood history. This crest compares to a previous crest of 15.3 feet on September 1st, 1939. HTTPS www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood flood warning now in effect from Friday morning until further notice what minor flooding is forecast Wait. Heating Creek near Palmdale. When? From Friday morning until further notice. Impacts at 7 feet. Feet Heating Creek is at flood stage. Access road to campground and the bathhouse are flooded. Additional details at 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday the stage was 6.2 feet. Bank Don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. Be aware of your surroundings and do not drive on flooded roads. Please report observed flooding to local emergency services or law enforcement and request they pass this information to the National Weather Service when you can do so safely. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Repeating, Tornado Watch number 690 remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties, in Florida, Charlotte, Collier, DeSoto, Glades, Henry and Lee, and the following marine locations, Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island Sound, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 nautical miles, and coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 to 60 nautical miles. These are the 3 p.m. observations for the local area on Wednesday, October 9th. At Fort Myers Page Field, it was cloudy. The temperature was 83 degrees, the 2.76, and the relative humidity 79%. The wind was southeast at 20 miles an hour, gusting to 38. The pressure was 29.44 inches and falling. At Southwest International, visibility 10 miles. Wind was south at 25 miles an hour, and the pressure was 29.47 inches and falling. At Punta Gorda, light rain was falling. The temperature was 83 degrees. at 
Sarasota Bradenton Airport. At Key West, Hayes was reported with a temperature of 87. It was cloudy with a temperature of 84 at Naples, 85 at West Palm Beach, and 87 at Miami. At Tampa International, rain and fog were reported with a temperature of 75. At St. Pete Clearwater Airport, rain and fog were reported with a temperature of 76. At Venice Municipal Airport, mixed precipitation was falling. Marine reports along the coast and offshore buoys. At the Sea Man site at Venice, winds were east. At 70 knots, sea temperature 83 degrees, air temperature 80 degrees, at 100 miles west of Bayport, winds were northeast at 35 knots, air temperature 77 degrees, wave height 13 feet, wave period 8 seconds. The report from 210 miles west of Kapkiva was not. Not available. This is a tropical weather bulletin from the National Hurricane Center. Issued at 1.55 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 2 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, over 1800 UTC, the center of Hurricane Milton was located near latitude 26.3 north, latitude 84.0 west. About 133 miles, 215 kilometers west of Fort Myers, Florida. About 148 miles, 238 kilometers southwest of Tampa, Florida. Milton is moving toward the north-northeast near 16 miles an hour, 26 kilometers per hour. A turn toward the northeast with a decrease in forward speed is expected this evening and tonight. A turn toward the east-northeast and east is expected on Thursday and Friday. On the forecast track, the center of Milton will make landfall along the west central coast of Florida tonight, cross the Florida Peninsula overnight and early Thursday, and move off the east coast of Florida over the western Atlantic Ocean on Thursday. Maximum sustained winds are near 130 miles an hour, 215 kilometers per hour with higher gusts. Milton is a category 4 hurricane on the Saphir Simpson hurricane wind scale. Milton is expected to remain an extremely dangerous major hurricane when it reaches the west central coast of Florida tonight, and remain at hurricane strength while it moves across the Florida Peninsula through Thursday. Gradual weakening is forecast while Milton moves eastward over the western Atlantic, and it is likely to become an extratropical storm by early Friday. Hurricane force winds extend outward up to 35 miles 55 kilometers from the center and tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 250 miles 280 kilometers, especially to the north. A NOAA sail drone South Dakota minus 1083 located about 50 miles east of the center recently reported a sustained wind of 52 miles an hour 84 kilometers per hour and a wind gust of 70 miles an hour 112 kilometers per hour. The minimum central pressure based on Air Force Reserve Hurricane 100 Ada is 944 millibars, 27.88 inches. Now for the official National Weather Service forecast issued 2 a.m. Wednesday, October 9, 2024 for the WXK83 listening area for the following counties in Florida, D.E. Soto, Charlotte, and Lee, including the cities of Arcadia, Port Charlotte, Punta Gorda, Cape Coral, and Fort Myers. Today, tropical storm conditions possible. Isolated thunderstorms. Numerous showers this morning, then widespread showers this afternoon. Locally heavy rainfall possible this afternoon. Highs in the mid-80s. East winds 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts up to 35 miles an hour, becoming southeast 20 to 30 miles an hour with gusts up to 50 miles an hour this afternoon. Chance of rain near 100%. Tonight, tropical storm conditions possible. Isolated thunderstorms. Widespread showers, mainly in the evening. Locally heavy rainfall possible in the evening. Near steady temperature around 80. South winds 35 to 45 miles an hour with gusts up to 65 miles an hour. Chance of rain near 100%. Thursday, tropical storm conditions possible. Partly sunny with scattered showers with isolated thunderstorms. Near steady temperature in the lower 80s. 
West winds 25 to 35 miles an hour with gusts up to 55 miles an hour. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy. Isolated showers and thunderstorms in the evening. Breezy with lows in the lower 70s. Northwest winds 15 to 25 miles an hour with gusts up to 35 miles an hour, becoming north 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts up to 25 miles an hour after midnight. Chance of rain 20%. Friday, mostly sunny. Highs in the mid 80s. North winds 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts up to 30 miles an hour. Friday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then clearing. Flood advisory in effect until 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening. What flooding caused by excessive rainfall is expected? Where? A portion of southwest Florida, including the following county, Collier. When? Until 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Impacts, minor flooding in low-lying and poor drainage areas. Additional details, at 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated heavy rains moving into Everglade City from the Gulf. Between 1 and 2 inches have fallen from the earlier heavy rains. Minor flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly in the advisory area. Another 1 to 3 inches of rainfall is possible with these heavy rains. If the rainfall amounts increase more than forecast, then a flash flood warning may be needed for this area. Some locations that will experience flooding include Everglades City, Carnstown, Plantation Island, Big Cypress National Preserve and Everglades National Park. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood turnaround don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. Please report observed flooding to local emergency services or law enforcement and request they pass this information to the National Weather Service when you can do so safely. Now for the official National Weather Service forecast issued 2 a.m. Wednesday, October 9, 2024 for the WXK83 listening area for the following counties in Florida, D.E. Soto, Charlotte, and Lee, including the cities of Arcadia, Port Charlotte, Punta Gorda, Cape Coral, and Fort Myers. Today, tropical storm conditions possible. Isolated thunderstorms. Numerous showers this morning, then widespread showers this afternoon. Locally heavy rainfall possible this afternoon. Highs in the mid-80s. East winds 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts up to 35 miles an hour, becoming southeast 20 to 30 miles an hour with gusts up to 50 miles an hour this afternoon. Chance of rain near 100%. Tonight, tropical storm conditions possible. Isolated thunderstorms. Widespread showers, mainly in the evening. Locally heavy rainfall possible in the evening. Near steady temperature around 80. South winds 35 to 45 miles an hour with gusts up to 65 miles an hour. Chance of rain near 100%. Thursday, tropical storm conditions possible. Partly sunny with scattered showers with isolated thunderstorms. Near steady temperature in the lower 80s. West winds 25 to 35 miles an hour with gusts up to 55 miles an hour. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy. Isolated showers and thunderstorms in the evening. Breezy with lows in the lower 70s. Northwest winds 15 to 25 miles an hour with gusts up to 35 miles an hour, becoming north 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts up to 25 miles an hour after midnight. Chance of rain 20%. Friday, mostly sunny. Highs in the mid 80s. North winds 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts up to 30 miles an hour. Friday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then clearing. Lows around 70. Saturday, sunny. Highs in the mid 80s. Saturday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 70s. Sunday, mostly sunny. Isolated showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 80s. Chance of rain 20%. Sunday night, mostly cloudy in the evening, then becoming partly cloudy. Isolated showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 70s. Chance of rain 20%. Columbus Day, mostly sunny with isolated thunderstorms. Isolated showers in the morning, then scattered showers in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 80s. 
chance of rain 40%. Monday night, partly cloudy with scattered showers with isolated thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 70s. Chance of rain 40%. Tuesday, mostly sunny with isolated thunderstorms. Isolated showers in the morning, then scattered showers in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-80s. Chance of rain 40%. Synopsis, major hurricane Milton will make landfall along the west central and southwest Florida coast late this evening and tonight producing life-threatening storm surge, destructive major hurricane force wind damage, flash flooding rain and scattered damaging tornadoes to much of the area. Your coastal waters forecast for the WXK83 listening area for the following marine location, Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island Sound. Issued at 12.06 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Tornado watch 690 in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening. Hurricane warning in effect. This afternoon, tropical storm conditions with hurricane conditions possible. Southeast winds 35 to 45 knots. Waves 2 to 3 feet. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Isolated thunderstorms. Widespread showers. Tonight, hurricane conditions expected. South winds 40 to 50 knots, becoming west after midnight. Waves 2 to 4 feet. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Isolated thunderstorms. Widespread showers, mainly in the evening. Thursday, tropical storm conditions expected with hurricane conditions possible. West winds 30 to 40 knots, becoming northwest 25 to 35 knots in the afternoon. Waves 2 to 4 feet. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Isolated thunderstorms. Scattered showers until late afternoon, then isolated showers late. Thursday night, tropical storm conditions possible. Northwest winds 30 to 35 knots, becoming north 15 to 20 knots with gusts up to 30 knots after midnight. Waves 2 to 3 feet. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Isolated showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Friday, north winds 15 to 20 knots with gusts up to 25 knots. Bay and inland waters choppy. Friday night, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots with gusts up to 25 knots. Bay and inland waters choppy. Saturday, northeast winds 10 to 15 knots with gusts up to 20 knots. Bay and inland waters a moderate chop. Saturday night, northeast winds 10 to 15 knots. Bay and inland waters a moderate chop. Sunday, east winds 5 to 10 knots. Bay and inland waters light chop. Isolated showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Winds and waves higher and end near thunderstorms. Your coastal waters forecast for the WXK83 listening area for the following marine location, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 nautical miles. Issued at 12.06 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Tornado watch 690 in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening. Hurricane warning in effect. This afternoon, tropical storm conditions with hurricane conditions possible. Southeast winds 35 to 45 knots with gusts up to 55 knots. Seas 9 to 12 feet, occasionally to 15 feet. Wave detail, southwest 12 feet at 13 seconds and south 6 feet at 6 seconds. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Isolated thunderstorms. Widespread showers. Tonight, hurricane conditions expected. South winds 55 to 65 knots with gusts up to 80 knots, becoming west 45 to 55 knots with gusts up to 65 knots after midnight. Seas 14 to 19 feet, occasionally to 24 feet. Wave detail, southwest 19 feet at 14 seconds and west 6 feet at 7 seconds. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Isolated thunderstorms. Widespread showers, mainly in the evening. Thursday, tropical storm conditions expected with hurricane conditions possible. West winds 30 to 40 knots, becoming northwest 25 to 35 knots in the afternoon. Seas 11 to 15 feet, occasionally to 19 feet, subsiding to 9 to 12 feet, occasionally to 15 feet in the afternoon. Wave detail, west 15 feet at 10 seconds and west 6 feet at 7 seconds. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Isolated thunderstorms.
scattered showers until late afternoon, then isolated showers late. Thursday night, tropical storm conditions possible. Northwest winds 25 to 35 knots, becoming north 20 to 25 knots with gusts up to 30 knots after midnight. Seas 7 to 10 feet, occasionally to 13 feet, subsiding to 5 to 7 feet, occasionally to 9 feet after midnight. Wave detail, northwest 10 feet at 9 seconds and west 1 foot at 10 seconds. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Friday, north winds 20 to 25 knots, diminishing to 15 to 20 knots in the afternoon. Seas 4 to 6 feet, occasionally to 8 feet. Wave detail, northwest 6 feet at 8 seconds and north 2 feet at 4 seconds. Bay and inland waters rough. Friday night, northeast winds 20 to 25 knots, diminishing to 15 to 20 knots after midnight. Seas 3 to 5 feet, occasionally to 6 feet. Wave detail, northwest 4 feet at 7 seconds and northeast 3 feet at 4 seconds. Bay and inland waters rough. Saturday, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots, diminishing to 10 to 15 knots in the afternoon. Seas 2 to 4 feet, occasionally to 5 feet. Bay and inland waters choppy. Saturday night, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots, becoming east 10 to 15 knots after midnight. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Bay and inland waters choppy. Sunday, east winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas around 2 feet. Bay and inland waters a moderate chop. Isolated showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Winds and seas higher and end near thunderstorms. Your coastal waters forecast for the WXK83 listening area for the following marine location. Coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 to 60 nautical miles. Issued at 12.06 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Tornado watch 690 in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening. Hurricane warning in effect. This afternoon, hurricane conditions. Southeast winds 55 to 65 knots with gusts up to 80 knots. Seas 15 to 20 feet, occasionally to 25 feet. Wave detail, south 20 feet at 12 seconds and south 9 feet at 6 seconds. Isolated thunderstorms. Widespread showers. Tonight, hurricane conditions expected. Southwest winds 75 to 95 knots with gusts up to 115 knots, becoming west 35 to 45 knots with gusts up to 60 knots after midnight. Seas 21 to 26 feet, occasionally to 33 feet, subsiding to 15 to 19 feet, occasionally to 24 feet after midnight. Wave detail, southwest 26 feet at 13 seconds and southwest 3 feet at 7 seconds. Isolated thunderstorms. Widespread showers, mainly in the evening. Thursday, tropical storm conditions expected with hurricane conditions possible. West winds 30 to 35 knots, becoming northwest 25 to 30 knots in the afternoon. Seas 13 to 16 feet, occasionally to 20 feet, subsiding to 11 to 13 feet, occasionally to 17 feet in the afternoon. Wave detail, northwest 15 feet at 10 seconds. Isolated thunderstorms. Scattered showers until late afternoon, then isolated showers late. Thursday night, north winds 25 to 30 knots with gusts up to 40 knots, diminishing to 20 to 25 knots with gusts up to 30 knots after midnight. Seas 10 to 12 feet, occasionally to 15 feet, subsiding to 8 to 11 feet, occasionally to 14 feet after midnight. Wave detail, northwest 12 feet at 9 seconds. Isolated showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Friday, north winds 20 to 25 knots. Seas 6 to 9 feet, occasionally to 11 feet, subsiding to 5 to 7 feet, occasionally to 9 feet in the afternoon. Wave detail, north 8 feet at 8 seconds. Friday night, northeast winds 20 to 25 knots, diminishing to 15 to 20 knots after midnight. Seas 5 to 6 feet, occasionally to 8 feet. Wave detail, north 6 feet at 7 seconds. Isolated showers and thunderstorms until early morning. Saturday, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots. Seas 3 to 5 feet, occasionally to 6 feet. Saturday night, northeast winds around 15 knots with gusts up to 20 knots. Seas 3 to 4 feet, occasionally to 5 feet. 
isolated showers and thunderstorms. Sunday, east winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Isolated showers and thunderstorms. Winds and seas higher and in near thunderstorms. The National Weather Service in Tampa Bay, Ruskin has issued a flash flood warning for Hardy County in Central Florida, Hope County in Central Florida, Northeastern DeSoto County in South Central Florida, Highlands County in South Central Florida, Hillsborough County in West Central Florida, Manatee County in West Central Florida, until 6.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 3.12 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated heavy rain across the warned area. Between 2 and 4 inches of rain have fallen. Additional rainfall amounts of 2 to 4 inches are possible in the warned area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, flash flooding caused by heavy rain. Source, radar. Impact, flash flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other poor drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Tampa, Lakeland, Plant City, Winter Haven, Temple Terrace, Kane City, Bardo, Lake Wales, Auburndale, Sebring, Avon Park, Wachula, Lake Placid, Fish Hawk, Brandon, Roots, Anna, January File Village, Medulla and Fussell's Corner. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Be aware of your surroundings and do not drive on flooded roads. Flood watch remains in effect through Thursday morning. What? Flooding caused by excessive rainfall continues to be possible. Where? Portions of southern and southwest Florida, including the following areas, in southern Florida, Glades and Henry. In southwest Florida, coastal Collier County and inland Collier County. When? Through Thursday morning. Impacts, excessive runoff may result in flooding of rivers, creeks, streams, and other low-lying and flood-prone locations. Flooding may occur in poor drainage and urban areas. Extensive street flooding and flooding of creeks and rivers are possible. Additional details, dash 1 to 3 inches of additional rainfall possible through tomorrow. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash Flood you should monitor later forecasts and be alert for possible flood warnings. Those living in areas prone to flooding should be prepared to take action should flooding develop. Flood watch remains in effect through Thursday evening. The flood watch continues for portions of southwest Florida and west central Florida, including the following areas, in southwest Florida, coastal Charlotte, coastal Lee, inland Charlotte, and inland Lee. In West Central Florida, Coastal Citrus, Coastal Hernando, Coastal Hillsboro, Coastal Levy, Coastal Manatee, Coastal Pasco, Coastal Sarasota, DeSoto, Hardy, Highlands, Inland Citrus, Inland Hernando, Inland Hillsboro, Inland Levy, Inland Manatee, Inland Pasco, Inland Sarasota, Pinellas, Polk, and Sumter. Through Thursday evening when? Through Thursday evening. Impacts, excessive runoff may result in flooding of rivers, creeks, streams, and other low-lying and flood-prone locations. Storm drains and ditches may become clogged with debris. You should monitor later forecasts and be alert for possible flood warnings. Those living in areas prone to flooding should be prepared to take action should flooding develop. This is NOAA Weather Radio WYOUXK83, the voice of the National Weather Service, broadcasting at a frequency of 162.475 MHz. The tower for WXK83 is located near Fort Myers, in Lee County, and serves southwest Florida, with programming originating from the National Weather Service office in Ruskin. The station provides warning alerts for Lee, Charlotte, DeSoto, Glades, Henry, and Collier Counties. The current time is 4.21 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. A hurricane warning remains in effect for the following counties, in Florida, Coastal Levy, De East Odo, Hardy, Highlands, Inland Charlotte, Inland Citrus, Inland Fernando, Inland Hillsboro, Inland Levy, Inland Manatee, Inland Pasco, Inland Sarasota, Polk and Sumter. Tide forecast. At Fort Myers Beach, high time Thursday at 4.49 a.m. Low tide Thursday at 1.50 p.m. Tide forecast. At Punta Gorda, low tide Wednesday at 3.31 p.m. 
high tide Thursday at 7.05 a.m. A storm surge warning remains in effect and a hurricane warning remains in effect for the following counties in Florida, Coastal Charlotte, Coastal Citrus, Coastal Hernando, Coastal Hillsboro, Coastal Lee, Coastal Manatee, Coastal Pasco, Coastal Sarasota, Inland Lee and Pinellas. A storm surge warning remains in effect and a hurricane watch and tropical storm warning are both in effect for the following county, Coastal Collier, Florida. A hurricane watch and tropical storm warning are both in effect for the following counties, in Florida, Glades, Henry and Inland Collier. Flood warning now in effect from this evening until further notice. What? Moderate flooding is forecast. Where? Horse Creek near Arcadia at ASR 72. When? From this evening until further notice. Impacts? At 15 feet, Royal Park Estates are affected near State Road 72. Additional details, at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday the stage was 10.8 feet. Bankful stage is 12 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage this evening and continue rising to 15 feet early Saturday morning. Additional rises are possible thereafter. Flood stage is 12 feet. Flood history, this crest compares to a previous crest of 15 feet on February 19, 1998. HTTPS www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood Flood warning now in effect from this evening until further notice What? Moderate flooding is forecast Where? Peace River at Arcadia at ASR 70 When? From this evening until further notice Impacts at 15.5 feet, 25 homes at River Acres are impacted Additional details, at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday the stage was 10.1 feet. The bankful stage is 10 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage late this evening and continue rising to 15.3 feet Monday morning. Additional rises are possible thereafter. Flood stage is 11 feet. Flood history, this crest compares to a previous crest of 15.3 feet on September 1, 1939. HTTPS www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood Flood warning now in effect from Friday morning until further notice What? Minor flooding is forecast Where? Feet heating creek near Palmdale When? From Friday morning until further notice Impacts at 7 feet, feet heating creek is at flood stage Access road to campground and the bathhouse are flooded Additional details, at 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday the stage was 6.2 feet. Bankful stage is 5.0 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage Friday morning and continue rising to a crest of 7.5 feet Saturday morning. Flood stage is 7 feet. Flood history, this crest compares to a previous crest of 7.5 feet on September 17, 1979. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood Flood advisory in effect until 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening What? Flooding caused by excessive rainfall is expected Where? A portion of southwest Florida, including the following county, Collier When? Until 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Impacts, minor flooding in low-lying and poor drainage areas. Additional details, at 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated heavy rains moving into Everglade City from the Gulf. Between 1 and 2 inches have fallen from the earlier heavy rains. Minor flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly in the advisory area. Another 1 to 3 inches of rainfall is possible with these heavy rains. If the rainfall amounts increase more than forecast, then a flash flood warning may be needed for this area. Some locations that will experience flooding include Everglades City, Carnstown, Plantation Island, Big Cypress National Preserve, and Everglades National Park. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood turnaround. Don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. Please report observed flooding to local emergency services or law enforcement and request they pass this information to the National Weather Service when you can do so safely. 
Flood advisory remains in effect until 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this afternoon. What? Flooding caused by excessive rainfall continues. Where? Portions of southeast and southern Florida, including the following counties, in southeast Florida, Palm Beach. In southern Florida, Henry. When? Until 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Impacts, minor flooding in low-lying and poor drainage areas. Additional details, at 4.23 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated that the heavy rains has ended, but light to moderate rains will continue over the area which rainfall amounts up to one inch. Minor flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly in the advisory area. Some locations that will experience flooding include, Clewiston and Lake Harbor, HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood turnaround. Don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. Be aware of your surroundings and do not drive on flooded roads. Please report observed flooding to local emergency services or law enforcement and request they pass this information to the National Weather Service when you can do so safely. Tornado Watch number 690 remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties in Florida, Charlotte, Collier, DeSoto, Glades, Henry and Lee, and the following marine locations, Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island Sound, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 nautical miles, and coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 to 60 nautical miles. Remember, a tornado watch means that Flood advisory remains in effect until 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening. What? Flooding caused by excessive rainfall continues. Where? A portion of southwest Florida, including the following county, Collier. When? Until 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Impacts? Minor flooding in low-lying and poor drainage areas. Additional details, at 4.27 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated heavy rains have ended. However, between 1 and 3 inches of rain have fallen from the heavy rains and this water will take some time to drain away due to the increased surge affecting the area. Therefore, the flood advisory will remain in effect until 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening. Some locations that will experience flooding include Everglades City, Carnstown, Plantation Island, Big Cypress National Preserve and Everglades National Park. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood turnaround. Don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. Please report observed flooding to local emergency services or law enforcement and request they pass this information to the National Weather Service when you can do so safely. Tornado Watch number 690 remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties in Florida, Charlotte, Collier, DeSoto, Glades, Henry and Lee, and the following marine locations, Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island Sound, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 nautical miles, and coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 to 60 nautical miles. Remember, a tornado watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Repeating, Tornado Watch number 690 remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties, in Florida, Charlotte, Collier, DeSoto, Glades, Henry and Lee, and the following marine locations, Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island Sound, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 nautical miles, and coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 to 60 nautical miles. These are the 4 p.m. observations for the local area on Wednesday, October 9th. At Fort Myers Page Field, haze was reported. The temperature was 82 degrees, the dew point 77, and the relative humidity 84%. The wind was out at 20 miles an hour, gusting to 44. The pressure was 29.38 inches and falling. At Southwest International, mixed precipitation was falling. Visibility 10 miles. Wind was south at 26 miles an hour. And the pressure was 29.41 inches and falling. 
At Punta Gorda, light rain was falling. The temperature was 83 degrees, the dew point 78, and the relative humidity 85%. The wind was southeast at 26 miles an hour, gusting to 40. The pressure was 29.37 inches and falling. At West Palm Beach, rain was falling, with a temperature of 85. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 82 at Naples, and 86 at Miami. At Tampa International, rain and fog were reported, with a temperature of 74. At St. Pete Clearwater Airport, rain and fog were reported, with a temperature of 75. At Sarasota Bradenton Airport, rain and fog were reported, with a temperature of 77. At Key West, rain and fog were reported, with a temperature of 85. At Venice Municipal Airport, mixed precipitation was falling. Marine reports along the coast and offshore buoys. At the Sea Man site at Venice, winds were east at 18 knots. Sea temperature 83 degrees. Air temperature 80 degrees. At 100 miles west of Bayport, winds were northeast at 35 knots. Air temperature 78 degrees. Wave height 13 feet. Wave period 8 seconds. The report from 210 miles west of Captiva was not available. This is a tropical weather bulletin from the National Hurricane Center. Issued at 1.55 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 2 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, over 1800 UTC, the center of Hurricane Milton was located near latitude 26.3 north, latitude 84.0 west. About 133 miles, 215 kilometers west of Fort Myers, Florida. About 148 miles, 238 kilometers southwest of Tampa, Florida. Milton is moving toward the north-northeast near 16 miles an hour, 26 kilometers per hour. A turn toward the northeast with a decrease in forward speed is expected this evening and tonight. A turn toward the east-northeast and east is expected on Thursday and Friday. On the forecast track, the center of Milton will make landfall along the west-central coast of Florida tonight, cross the Florida Peninsula overnight and early Thursday, and move off the east coast of Florida over the western Atlantic Ocean on Thursday. Maximum sustained winds are near 130 miles an hour 215 kilometers per hour with higher gusts. Milton is a Category 4 hurricane on the Saphir Simpson hurricane wind scale. Milton is expected to remain an extremely dangerous major hurricane when it reaches the west central coast of Florida tonight, and remain at hurricane strength while it moves across the Florida Peninsula through Thursday. Gradual weakening is forecast while Milton moves eastward over the western Atlantic, and it is likely to become an extratropical storm by early Friday. Hurricane force winds extend outward up to 35 miles 55 kilometers from the center and tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 250 miles 280 kilometers, especially to the north. A NOAA sail drone South Dakota minus 1083 located about 50 miles east of the center recently reported a sustained wind of 52 miles an hour 84 kilometers per hour and a wind gust of 70 miles an hour 112 kilometers per hour. The minimum central pressure based on Air Force Reserve Hurricane Hunter data is 944 millibars, 27.88 inches. Now for the official National Weather Service forecast issued 2 a.m. Wednesday, October 9, 2024 for the WXK83 listening area for the following counties in Florida, D.E. Soto, Charlotte, and Lee. Including the cities of Arcadia, Port Charlotte, Punta Gorda, Cape Coral, and Fort Myers. Today, tropical storm conditions possible. Isolated thunderstorms. Numerous showers this morning, then widespread showers this afternoon. Locally heavy rainfall possible this afternoon. Highs in the mid-80s. East winds 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts up to 35 miles an hour, becoming southeast 20 to 30 miles an hour with gusts up to 50 miles an hour this afternoon. Chance of rain near 100%. Tonight, tropical storm conditions possible. Isolated thunderstorms. Widespread showers, mainly in the evening. Locally heavy rainfall possible in the evening. Near steady temperature around 80. South winds 35 to 45 miles an hour with gusts up to 65 miles an hour. Chance of rain near 100%. Thursday, tropical storm conditions possible. Partly sunny with scattered showers with isolated thunderstorms. Near steady temperature in the lower 80s. 
West winds 25 to 35 miles an hour with gusts up to 55 miles an hour. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy. Isolated showers and thunderstorms in the evening. Breezy with lows in the lower 70s. Northwest winds 15 to 25 miles an hour with gusts up to 35 miles an hour, becoming north 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts up to 25 miles an hour after midnight. Chance of rain 20%. Friday, mostly sunny. Highs in the mid 80s. North winds 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts up to 30 miles an hour. Friday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then clearing. Lows around 70. Saturday, sunny. Highs in the mid 80s. Saturday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 70s. Sunday, mostly sunny. Isolated showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 80s. Chance of rain 20%. Sunday night, mostly cloudy in the evening, then becoming partly cloudy. Isolated showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 70s. Chance of rain 20%. Columbus Day, mostly sunny with isolated thunderstorms. Isolated showers in the morning, then scattered showers in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 80s. Chance of rain 40%. Monday night, partly cloudy with scattered showers with isolated thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 70s. Chance of rain 40%. Tuesday, mostly sunny with isolated thunderstorms. Isolated showers in the morning, then scattered showers in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-80s. Chance of rain 40%. Synopsis, major hurricane Milton will make landfall along the west central and southwest Florida coast late this evening and tonight producing life-threatening storm surge, destructive major hurricane force wind damage, flash flooding rain and scattered damaging tornadoes to much of the area. Your coastal waters forecast for the WXK83 listening area for the following marine location, Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island Sound. Issued at 12.06 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Tornado watch 690 in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening. Hurricane warning in effect. This afternoon, tropical storm conditions with hurricane conditions possible. Southeast winds 35 to 45 knots. Waves 2 to 3 feet. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Isolated thunderstorms. Widespread showers. Tonight, hurricane conditions expected. South winds 40 to 50 knots, becoming west after midnight. Waves 2 to 4 feet. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Isolated thunderstorms. Widespread showers, mainly in the evening. Thursday. Tropical storm conditions expected with hurricane conditions possible. West winds 30 to 40 knots, becoming northwest 25 to 35 knots in the afternoon. Waves 2 to 4 feet. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Isolated thunderstorms. Scattered showers until late afternoon, then isolated showers late. Thursday night, tropical storm conditions possible. Northwest winds 30 to 35 knots, becoming north 15 to 20 knots with gusts up to 30 knots after midnight. Waves 2 to 3 feet. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Isolated showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Friday, north winds 15 to 20 knots with gusts up to 25 knots. Bay and inland waters choppy. Friday night, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots with gusts up to 25 knots. Bay and inland waters choppy. Saturday, northeast winds 10 to 15 knots with gusts up to 20 knots. Bay and inland waters a moderate chop. Saturday night, northeast winds 10 to 15 knots. Bay and inland waters a moderate chop. Sunday, east winds 5 to 10 knots. Bay and inland waters light chop. Isolated showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Winds and waves higher in and near thunderstorms. Your coastal waters forecast for the WXK83 listening area for the following marine location, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 nautical miles. Issued at 12.06 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Tornado watch 690 in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening. Hurricane warning in effect. 
This afternoon, tropical storm conditions with hurricane conditions possible. Southeast winds 35 to 45 knots with gusts up to 55 knots. Seas 9 to 12 feet, occasionally to 15 feet. Wave detail, southwest 12 feet at 13 seconds and south 6 feet at 6 seconds. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Isolated thunderstorms. Widespread showers. Tonight, hurricane conditions expected. South winds 55 to 65 knots with gusts up to 80 knots, becoming west 45 to 55 knots with gusts up to 65 knots after midnight. Seas 14 to 19 feet, occasionally to 24 feet. Wave detail, southwest 19 feet at 14 seconds and west 6 feet at 7 seconds. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Isolated thunderstorms. Widespread showers, mainly in the evening. Thursday, tropical storm conditions expected with hurricane conditions possible. West winds 30 to 40 knots, becoming northwest 25 to 35 knots in the afternoon. Seas 11 to 15 feet, occasionally to 19 feet, subsiding to 9 to 12 feet, occasionally to 15 feet in the afternoon. Wave detail, west 15 feet at 10 seconds and west 6 feet at 7 seconds. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Isolated thunderstorms. Scattered showers until late afternoon, then isolated showers late. Thursday night, tropical storm conditions possible. Northwest winds 25 to 35 knots, becoming north 20 to 25 knots with gusts up to 30 knots after midnight. Seas 7 to 10 feet, occasionally to 13 feet, subsiding to 5 to 7 feet, occasionally to 9 feet after midnight. Wave detail, northwest 10 feet at 9 seconds and west 1 foot at 10 seconds. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Friday, north winds 20 to 25 knots, diminishing to 15 to 20 knots in the afternoon. Seas 4 to 6 feet, occasionally to 8 feet. Wave detail, northwest 6 feet at 8 seconds and north 2 feet at 4 seconds. Bay and inland waters rough. Friday night, northeast winds 20 to 25 knots, diminishing to 15 to 20 knots after midnight. Seas 3 to 5 feet, occasionally to 6 feet. Wave detail, northwest 4 feet at 7 seconds and northeast 3 feet at 4 seconds. Bay and inland waters rough. Saturday, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots, diminishing to 10 to 15 knots in the afternoon. Seas 2 to 4 feet, occasionally to 5 feet. Bay and inland waters choppy. Saturday night, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots, becoming east 10 to 15 knots after midnight. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Bay and inland waters choppy. Sunday, east winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas around 2 feet. Bay and inland waters a moderate chop. Isolated showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Winds and seas higher in and near thunderstorms. Your coastal waters forecast for the WXK83 listening area for the following marine location. Coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 to 60 nautical miles. Issued at 12.06 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Tornado watch 690 in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening. Hurricane warning in effect. This afternoon, hurricane conditions. Southeast winds 55 to 65 knots with gusts up to 80 knots. Seas 15 to 20 feet, occasionally to 25 feet. Wave detail, south 20 feet at 12 seconds and south 9 feet at 6 seconds. Isolated thunderstorms. Widespread showers. Tonight, hurricane conditions expected. Southwest winds 75 to 95 knots with gusts up to 115 knots, becoming west 35 to 45 knots with gusts up to 60 knots after midnight. Seas 21 to 26 feet, occasionally to 33 feet, subsiding to 15 to 19 feet, occasionally to 24 feet after midnight. Wave detail, southwest 26 feet at 13 seconds and southwest 3 feet at 7 seconds. Isolated thunderstorms. Widespread showers, mainly in the evening. Thursday, tropical storm conditions expected with hurricane conditions possible. West winds 30 to 35 knots, becoming northwest 25 to 30 knots in the afternoon. 
seas 13 to 16 feet, occasionally to 20 feet, subsiding to 11 to 13 feet, occasionally to 17 feet in the afternoon. Wave detail, northwest 15 feet at 10 seconds. Isolated thunderstorms. Scattered showers until late afternoon, then isolated showers late. Thursday night, north winds 25 to 30 knots with gusts up to 40 knots, diminishing to 20 to 25 knots with gusts up to 30 knots after midnight. Seas 10 to 12 feet, occasionally to 15 feet, subsiding to 8 to 11 feet, occasionally to 14 feet after midnight. Wave detail, northwest 12 feet at 9 seconds. Isolated showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Friday, north winds 20 to 25 knots. Seas 6 to 9 feet, occasionally to 11 feet, subsiding to 5 to 7 feet, occasionally to 9 feet on the app. Flood warning now in effect from this afternoon until further notice. What? Moderate flooding is forecast. Where? Horse Creek near Arcadia at SR 72. When? From this afternoon until further notice. Impacts, at 15 feet, Royal Park Estates are affected near State Road at 72. Additional details, at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday the stage was 11.9 feet. Bankful stage is 12 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage late this afternoon and continue rising to a crest of 15 feet early Saturday morning. Flood stage is 12 feet. Flood history, this crest compares to a previous crest of 15 feet on February 19, 1998. HTTPS, www.weather.gov slash, safety slash, flood. Flood warning now in effect from this afternoon until further notice. What, moderate flooding is forecast? Where, Peace River at Arcadia at ASR 70. When, from this afternoon until further notice. Impacts, at 15.5 feet, 25 homes at River Acres are impacted. Additional details, at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday the stage was 10.9 feet. Bankful stage is 10 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage late this afternoon and continue rising to 15.4 feet early Monday afternoon. Additional rises are possible thereafter. Flood stage is 11 feet. Flood history, this crest compares to a previous crest of 15.4 feet on June 26, 2003. HTTPS, www.weather.gov slash, safety slash, flood. Your coastal waters forecast, for the WXK83 listening area, for the following marine location, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 to 60 nautical miles. Issued at 12.06 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Tornado watch 690 in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening. Hurricane warning in effect. This afternoon, hurricane conditions. Southeast winds 55 to 65 knots with gusts up to 80 knots. Seas 15 to 20 feet, occasionally to 25 feet. Wave detail, south 20 feet at 12 seconds and south 9 feet at 6 seconds. Isolated thunderstorms. Widespread showers. Tonight, hurricane conditions expected. Southwest winds 75 to 95 knots with gusts up to 115 knots, becoming west 35 to 45 knots with gusts up to 60 knots after midnight. Seas 21 to 26 feet, occasionally to 33 feet, subsiding to 15 to 19 feet, occasionally to 24 feet after midnight. Wave detail, southwest 26 feet at 13 seconds and southwest 3 feet at 7 seconds. Isolated thunderstorms. Widespread showers, mainly in the evening. Thursday, tropical storm conditions expected with hurricane conditions possible. West winds 30 to 35 knots, becoming northwest 25 to 30 knots in the afternoon. Seas 13 to 16 feet, occasionally to 20 feet, subsiding to 11 to 13 feet, occasionally to 17 feet in the afternoon. Wave detail, northwest 15 feet at 10 seconds. Isolated thunderstorms. Scattered showers until late afternoon, then isolated showers late. Thursday night, north winds 25 to 30 knots with gusts up to 40 knots, diminishing to 20 to 25 knots with gusts up to 30 knots after midnight. Seas 10 to 12 feet, occasionally to 15 feet, subsiding to 8 to 11 feet, occasionally to 14 feet after midnight. 
Wave detail, northwest 12 feet at 9 seconds. Isolated showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Friday, north winds 20 to 25 knots. Seas 6 to 9 feet, occasionally to 11 feet, subsiding to 5 to 7 feet, occasionally to 9 feet in the afternoon. Wave detail, north 8 feet at 8 seconds. Friday night, northeast winds 20 to 25 knots, diminishing to 15 to 20 knots after midnight. Seas 5 to 6 feet, occasionally to 8 feet. Wave detail, north 6 feet at 7 seconds. Isolated showers and thunderstorms until early morning. Saturday, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots. Seas 3 to 5 feet, occasionally to 6 feet. Saturday night, northeast winds around 15 knots with gusts up to 20 knots. Seas 3 to 4 feet, occasionally to 5 feet. Isolated showers and thunderstorms. Sunday, east winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Isolated showers and thunderstorms. Winds and seas higher in and near thunderstorms. The National Weather Service in Tampa Bay, Ruskin has issued a flash flood warning for Hardy County in Central Florida, Hope County in Central Florida, Northeastern DeSoto County in South Central Florida, Highlands County in South Central Florida, Hillsborough County in West Central Florida, Manatee County in West Central Florida, until 6.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 3.12 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated heavy rain across the warned area. Between 2 and 4 inches of rain have fallen. Additional rainfall amounts of 2 to 4 inches are possible in the warned area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, flash flooding caused by heavy rain. Source, radar. Impact, flash flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other poor drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Tampa, Lakeland, Plant City, Winter Haven, Temple Terrace, Kane City, Bardo, Lake Wales, Auburndale, Sebring, Avon Park, Wachula, Lake Placid, Fish Hawk, Brandon, Roots, and uh, January File Village, Medulla and Fussell's Corner. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Be aware of your surroundings and do not drive on flooded roads. Flood watch remains in effect through Thursday morning. What? Flooding caused by excessive rainfall continues to be possible. Where? Portions of southern and southwest Florida, including the following areas, in southern Florida, Glades and Henry. In southwest Florida, coastal Collier County and inland Collier County. When? Through Thursday morning. Impacts, excessive runoff may result in flooding of rivers, creeks, streams, and other low-lying and flood-prone locations. Flooding may occur in poor drainage and urban areas. Extensive street flooding and flooding of creeks and rivers are possible. Additional details, dash 1 to 3 inches of additional rainfall possible through tomorrow. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood you should monitor later forecasts and be alert for possible flood warnings. Those living in areas prone to flooding should be prepared to take action should flooding develop. Flood watch remains in effect through Thursday evening. The flood watch continues for portions of southwest Florida and west central Florida, including the following areas, in southwest Florida, coastal Charlotte, coastal Lee, inland Charlotte, and inland Lee. In West Central Florida, Coastal Citrus, Coastal Hernando, Coastal Hillsboro, Coastal Levy, Coastal Manatee, Coastal Pasco, Coastal Sarasota, DeSoto, Hardy, Highlands, Inland Citrus, Inland Hernando, Inland Hillsboro, Inland Levy, Inland Manatee, Inland Pasco, Inland Sarasota, Pinellas, Polk, and Sumter. Through Thursday evening when? Through Thursday evening. Impacts, excessive runoff may result in flooding of rivers, creeks, streams, and other low-lying and flood-prone locations. Storm drains and ditches may become clogged with debris. You should monitor later forecasts and be alert for possible flood warnings. Those living in areas prone to flooding should be prepared to take action should flooding develop. This is NOAA Weather Radio WYOUXK83, the voice of the National Weather Service, broadcasting at a frequency of 162.475 MHz. 
The tower for WXK83 is located near Fort Myers, in Lee County, and serves southwest Florida, with programming originating from the National Weather Service Office in Ruskin. The station provides warning alerts for Lee, Charlotte, DeSoto, Glades, Henry, and Collier Counties. The current time is 4.57 p.m. Uh, okay, Eastern at Daylight it. Time. It. It pretty much the hurricane warning really remains intact go for the following area. counties. In Florida, Coastal Levy, D.E. Soto, Hardy, Highlands, Inland Charlotte, Inland Citrus, Inland Hernando, right. Inland Hillsboro, Inland Levy, Inland Manatee, Inland Pascal, Inland Sarasota, Oak and Sumter. Tide forecast. At Fort Myers Beach, high tide Thursday at 4.49 a.m. Low tide Thursday at 1.50 p.m. Tide forecast. At Punta Gorda, low tide Wednesday at 3.31 p.m. High tide Thursday at 7.05 a.m. A storm surge warning remains in effect and a hurricane warning remains in effect for the following counties. In Florida, Coastal Charlotte, Coastal Citrus, Coastal Hernando, Coastal Hillsboro, Coastal Lee, Coastal Manatee, Coastal Pasco, Coastal Sarasota, Inland Lee and Pinellas. A storm surge warning remains in effect and a hurricane watch and tropical storm warning are both in effect for the following county, Coastal Collier, Florida. A hurricane watch and tropical storm warning are both in effect for the following counties, in Florida, Glades, Henry and Inland Collier. Flood warning now in effect from Friday morning until further notice. What, minor flooding is forecast? Where, fish eating creek near Palmdale? When, from Friday morning until further notice. Impacts, at 7 feet, Fish Eating Creek is at flood stage. Access road to campground and the bathhouse are flooded. Additional details, at 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday the stage was 6.2 feet. Bankful stage is 5.0 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage Friday morning and continue rising to a crest of 7.5 feet Saturday morning. Flood stage is 7 feet. Flood history, this crest compares to a previous crest of 7.5 feet on September 17, 1979. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood. Flood advisory remains in effect until 5. You're good for MS TAC for respiratory Cypress Strand Apartments 705.
6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Impact. Impacts. Minor flooding in low-lying and poor drainage areas. Additional details. At 4.27 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated heavy rains have ended. However, between 1 and 3 inches of rain have fallen from the heavy rains and this water will take some time to drain away due to the increased surge affecting the area. Therefore, the flood advisory will remain in effect until 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening. Some locations that will experience flooding include Everglades City, Carnstown, Plantation Island, Big Cypress National Preserve, and Everglades National Park. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood turnaround. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage late this afternoon and continue rising to a crest of 15 feet early Saturday morning. Flood stage is 12 feet. Flood history, this crest compares to a previous crest of 15 feet on February 19, 1998. HTTPS, www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood. Flood warning now in effect from this afternoon until further notice. What? Moderate flooding is forecast. Where? Peace River at Arcadia at SR-70. When? From this afternoon until further notice. Impacts? At 15.5 feet, 25 homes at River Acres are impacted. Additional details? At 4.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday the Stage was 10.9 feet. Bankful stage is 10 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood. Flood stage late this afternoon and continue rising to 15.4 feet early Monday afternoon. Additional rises are possible thereafter. Flood stage is 11 feet. Flood history. This crest compares to a previous crest of 15.4 feet on June 26, 2003. HTTPS www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood. Tornado watch number 690 remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties in Florida, Charlotte, Collier, DeSoto, Glades, Henry and Lee, and the following marine locations, Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island Sound, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 nautical miles, and coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 to 60 nautical miles. Remember, a tornado watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Repeating, Tornado Watch number 690 remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties, in Florida, Charlotte, Collier, DeSoto, Glades, Henry and Lee, and the following marine locations, Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island Sound, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 nautical miles, and coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 to 60 nautical miles. This is a tropical weather bulletin from the National Hurricane Center. Issued at 1.55 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. 
at 2 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, or 1800 UTC. The center of Hurricane Milton was located near latitude 26.3 north, latitude 84.0 west, about 133 miles, 215 kilometers west of Fort Myers, Florida. About 148 miles, 238 kilometers southwest of Tampa, Florida. Milton is moving toward the north-northeast near 16 miles an hour, 26 kilometers per hour. A turn toward the northeast with a decrease in forward speed is expected this evening and tonight. A turn toward the east-northeast and east is expected on Thursday and Friday. On the forecast track, the center of Milton will make landfall along the west central coast of Florida tonight, cross the Florida Peninsula overnight and early Thursday, and move off the east coast of Florida over the western Atlantic Ocean on Thursday. Maximum sustained winds are near 130 miles an hour, 215 kilometers per hour with higher gusts. Milton is a category 4 hurricane on the Saphir Simpson hurricane wind scale. Milton is expected to remain an extremely dangerous major hurricane when it reaches the west central coast of Florida tonight, and remain at hurricane strength while it moves across the Florida peninsula through Thursday. Gradual weakening is forecast while Milton moves eastward over the western Atlantic, and it is likely to become an extratropical storm by early Friday. Hurricane force winds extend outward up to 35 miles 55 kilometers from the center and tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 250 a hurricane warning remains in effect for the following counties, in Florida, Coastal Levy, D.E. Soto, Hardy, Highlands, Inland Charlotte, Inland Citrus, Inland Hernando, Inland Hillsboro, Inland Levy, Inland Manatee, Inland Pasco, Inland Sarasota, Polk and Sumter. A storm surge warning remains in effect and a hurricane warning remains in effect for the following counties, in Florida, Coastal Charlotte, Coastal Citrus, Coastal Hernando, Coastal Hillsboro, Coastal Lee, Coastal Manatee, Coastal Pasco, Coastal Sarasota, Inland Lee and Pinellas. This is a tropical weather bulletin from the National Hurricane Center. Issued at 1.55 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 2 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, or 1800 UTC, the center of Hurricane Milton was located near latitude 26.3 north, latitude 84.0 west. About 133 miles, 215 kilometers west of Fort Myers, Florida. About 148 miles, 238 kilometers southwest of Tampa, Florida. Milton is moving toward the north-northeast near 16 miles an hour, 26 kilometers per hour. A turn toward the northeast with a decrease in forward speed is expected this evening and tonight. A turn toward the east-northeast and east is expected on Thursday and Friday. On the forecast track, the center of Milton will make landfall along the west central coast of Florida tonight, cross the Florida Peninsula overnight and early Thursday, and move off the east coast of Florida over the western Atlantic Ocean on Thursday. Maximum sustained winds are near 130 miles an hour, 215 kilometers per hour with higher gusts. Milton is a category 4 hurricane on the Saphir Simpson hurricane wind scale. Milton is expected to remain an extremely dangerous major hurricane when it reaches the west central coast of Florida tonight, and remain at hurricane strength while it moves across the Florida peninsula through Thursday. Gradual weakening is forecast while Milton moves eastward over the western Atlantic, and it is likely to become an extratropical storm by early Friday. Hurricane force winds extend outward up to 35 miles 55 kilometers from the center and tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 250 miles 280 kilometers, especially to the north. A NOAA sail drone South Dakota minus 1083 located about 50 miles east of the center recently reported a sustained wind of 52 miles an hour 84 kilometers per hour and a wind gust of 70 miles an hour 112 kilometers per hour. The minimum central pressure based on Air Force Reserve Hurricane 100 Ada is 944 millibars, 27.88 inches. Now for the official National Weather Service forecast issued 2 a.m. Wednesday, October 9, 2024 for the WXK83 listening area for the following counties in Florida, D.E. Soto, Charlotte, and Lee, including the cities of Arcadia, Port Charlotte, Punta Gorda, Cape Coral, and Fort Myers. Today, tropical storm conditions possible. Isolated thunderstorms. Numerous showers this morning, then widespread showers this afternoon. Locally heavy rainfall possible this afternoon. Highs in the mid-80s. 
Northeast winds 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts up to 35 miles an hour. Becoming southeast 20 to 30 miles an hour with gusts up to 50 miles an hour this afternoon. Chance of rain near 100%. Tonight, tropical storm conditions possible. Isolated thunderstorms. Widespread showers, mainly in the evening. Locally heavy rainfall possible in the evening. Near steady temperature around 80. South winds 35 to 45 miles an hour with gusts up to 65 miles an hour. Chance of rain near 100%. Thursday, tropical storm conditions possible. Partly sunny with scattered showers with isolated thunderstorms. Near steady temperature in the lower 80s. West winds 25 to 35 miles an hour with gusts up to 55 miles an hour. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy. Isolated showers and thunderstorms in the evening. Breezy with lows in the lower 70s. Northwest winds 15 to 25 miles an hour with gusts up to 35 miles an hour, becoming north 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts up to 25 miles an hour. Tornado watch number 690 remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties in Florida, Charlotte, Collier, DeSoto, Glades, Henry and Lee, and the following marine locations, Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island Sound, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 nautical miles, and coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 to 60 nautical miles. Remember, a tornado watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Repeating, Tornado Watch number 690 remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties, in Florida, Charlotte, Collier, DeSoto, Glades, Henry and Lee, and the following marine locations, Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island Sound, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 nautical miles, and coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 to 60 nautical miles. Now for the official National Weather Service forecast issued 2 a.m. Wednesday, October 9, 2024 for the WXK83 listening area for the following counties in Florida, D.E. Soto, Charlotte, and Lee, including the cities of Arcadia, Port Charlotte, Puna Gorda, Cape Coral, and Fort Myers. Today, tropical storm conditions possible. Isolated thunderstorms. Numerous showers this morning, then widespread showers this afternoon. Locally heavy rainfall possible this afternoon. Highs in the mid-80s. East winds 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts up to 35 miles an hour. Becoming southeast 20 to 30 miles an hour with gusts up to 50 miles an hour this afternoon. Chance of rain near 100%. Tonight, tropical storm conditions possible. Isolated thunderstorms. Widespread showers, mainly in the evening. Locally heavy rainfall possible in the evening. Near steady temperature around 80. South winds 35 to 45 miles an hour with gusts up to 65 miles an hour. Chance of rain near 100%. Thursday, tropical storm conditions possible. Partly sunny with scattered showers with isolated thunderstorms. Near steady temperature in the lower 80s. West winds 25 to 35 miles an hour with gusts up to 55 miles an hour. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy. Isolated showers and thunderstorms in the evening. Breezy with lows in the lower 70s. Northwest winds 15 to 25 miles an hour with gusts up to 35 miles an hour, becoming north 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts up to 25 miles an hour after midnight. Chance of rain 20%. Friday, mostly sunny. Highs in the mid 80s. North winds 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts up to 30 miles an hour. Friday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then clearing. Lows around 70. Saturday, sunny. Highs in the mid 80s. Saturday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 70s. Sunday, mostly sunny. Isolated showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 80s. Chance of rain 20%. 
Sunday night, mostly cloudy in the evening, then becoming partly cloudy. Isolated showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 70s. Chance of rain 20%. Columbus Day, mostly sunny with isolated thunderstorms. Isolated showers in the morning, then scattered showers in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-80s. Chance of rain 40%. Monday night, partly cloudy with scattered showers with isolated thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 70s. Chance of rain 40%. Tuesday, mostly sunny with isolated thunderstorms. Isolated showers in the morning, then scattered showers in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-80s. Chance of rain 40%. Synopsis, major hurricane Milton will make landfall along the west central and southwest Florida coast late this evening and tonight producing life-threatening storm surge, destructive major hurricane force wind damage, flash flooding rain and scattered damaging tornadoes to much of the area. Your coastal waters forecast for the WXK83 listening area for the following marine location, Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island Sound. Issued at 12.06 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Tornado Watch 690 in effect That's until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening. Hurricane warning in effect this afternoon. Tropical storm conditions with hurricane conditions possible. Will be responding. Southeast winds 35 to 45 knots. Waves 2 to 3 feet. Bay and inland waters are extremely rough. Isolated thunderstorms. Widespread showers. Tonight, hurricane conditions expected. South winds 40 to 50 knots, becoming west after midnight. Waves 2 to 4 feet. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Isolated thunderstorms. Widespread showers, mainly in the evening. Thursday, tropical storm conditions expected with hurricane conditions possible. West winds 30 to 40 knots, Probably, becoming northwest uh, 25 to 35 knots so in the afternoon. Sarasota. Waves two to four feet. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Isolated thunderstorms. Scattered showers until late afternoon. Then isolated showers late. Long stage loop. Night, tropical storm conditions North Crash is called by second party. But you can drop a small fire alarm. No area evacuation. Waves two to three feet. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Car 100 copies. Isolated showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Friday, north winds 15 to 20 knots with gusts up to 25 knots. For the Bay and alarm, inland waters eight, choppy. Zero five, Friday night, seven, northeast eight. winds 15 to 20 knots with gusts up to 25 knots. Go ahead with the update. Bay and inland waters choppy. It's showing the Saturday, the northeast winds 10 to 15 knots flow. with gusts up to 20 seven, knots. 11. Bay and inland waters a moderate chop. Saturday night, northeast winds 10 to 15 knots. Copy, we've ran that Bay twice. Bay and inland before. waters a moderate chop. Sunday, yeah, the east eight, winds 5 to 10 11. knots. We'll look into it. Bay and inland waters light chop. Isolated showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Winds and waves higher and end near thunderstorms. Your coastal yes, waters run, forecast run. for the WXK83 listening area for the following Good. marine location. Coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Anguilla, 20 nautical miles. With the, uh, Issued at 1206 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Tornado watch 690 in effect, in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening. Hurricane warning in effect. This afternoon, tropical storm conditions with hurricane conditions possible. Southeast winds 35 to 45 knots with gusts up to 55 knots. Seas 9 to 12 feet, occasionally to 15 feet. Wave detail, southwest 12 feet at 13 seconds and south 6 feet at 6 seconds. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Isolated thunderstorms. Widespread showers. Tonight, hurricane conditions expected. South winds 55 to 65 knots with gusts up to 80 knots. Have no overheating and park with late. 8748. Street circle. Again, 8748. Street circle east. 1011. 72 year old female. Wheat. Kidney stones. Have no overheating. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Isolated thunderstorms. Widespread showers, mainly in the evening. Thursday, tropical storm conditions expected with hurricane conditions possible. West winds 30 to 40 knots, 
becoming northwest 25 to 35 knots in the afternoon. Seas 11 to 15 feet, occasionally to 19 feet, subsiding to 9 to 12 feet, occasionally to 15 feet in the afternoon. Wave detail, west 15 feet at 10 seconds and west 6 feet at 7 seconds. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Isolated thunderstorms. Scattered showers until late afternoon, then isolated showers late. Thursday night, tropical storm conditions possible. Northwest winds 25 to 35 knots, becoming north 20 to 25 knots with gusts up to 30 knots after midnight. Seas 7 to 10 feet, occasionally to 13 feet, subsiding to 5 to 7 feet, occasionally to 9 feet after midnight. Wave detail, northwest 10 feet at 9 right. seconds and west 1 foot at 10 seconds. Bay and inland water is extremely uh, rough. Friday, north winds 20 to 25 knots, yeah, diminishing to 15 to 20 knots in the afternoon. Seas 4 to 6 feet, occasionally to 8 feet. Driver, sir, triage and call, 1723. Northwest 6 feet at 8 seconds and north 2 feet at 4 seconds. Bay and inland water is rough. Friday night, northeast winds 20 to 25 knots, diminishing to 15 to 20 knots after midnight. Seas 3 to 5 feet, occasionally to 6 feet. Wave detail, northwest 4 feet at 7 seconds and northeast 3 feet at 4 10, seconds. 7, 10, 6, 10, Bay and inland water is rough. Saturday, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots, diminishing to 10 to 15 knots in the afternoon. Seas 3 to 4 feet, occasionally to 5 feet. Bay and inland water is choppy. Saturday night, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots, becoming east 10 to 15 knots after midnight. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Bay and inland water is choppy. Sunday, east winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas around 2 feet. Bay and inland waters a moderate shock. Isolated showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Winds and seas higher in and near thunderstorms. Your coastal waters forecast for the WXK83 listening area for the following marine location. Coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 to 60 nautical miles. Issued at 12.06 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Tornado watch 690 in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening. Hurricane warning in effect. This afternoon, hurricane conditions. Southeast winds 55 to 65 knots with gusts up to 80 knots. 541 to 20 feet, occasionally to 25 feet. Wave detail, south 20 feet at 12 seconds and south 9 feet at 6 seconds. Isolated thunderstorms. Widespread showers. Tonight, hurricane conditions expected. Southwest winds 75 to 95 knots with gusts up to 115 knots, becoming west 35 to 45 knots with gusts up to 60 knots after midnight. Seas 21 to 26 feet, occasionally to 33 feet, subsiding to 15 to 19 feet, occasionally to 24 feet after midnight. Wave detail, southwest 26 feet at 13 seconds and southwest 3 feet at 7 seconds. Isolated thunderstorms. Widespread showers, mainly in the evening. Thursday, tropical storm conditions expected with hurricane conditions possible. West winds 30 to 35 knots, becoming northwest 25 to 30 knots in the afternoon. Seas 13 to 16 feet, occasionally to 20 feet, subsiding to 11 to 13 feet, occasionally to 17 feet in the afternoon. Wave detail, northwest 15 feet at 10 seconds. Isolated thunderstorms. Scattered showers until late afternoon, then isolated showers late. Thursday Second night, party north winds 25 to 30 knots with gusts up to 40 knots, diminishing to 20 to 25 knots with gusts up to 30 knots after midnight. Seas 10 to 12 feet, occasionally to 15 feet, subsiding to 8 to 11 feet, occasionally to 14 feet after midnight. Wave detail, northwest 12 feet at 9 seconds. Isolated showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Friday, north winds 20 to 25 knots. Seas 6 to 9 feet, occasionally to 11 feet, subsiding to 5 to 7 feet, occasionally to 9 feet in the afternoon. Wave detail, north 8 feet at 8 seconds. Friday night, northeast winds 20 to 25 knots, diminishing to 15 to 20 knots after midnight. Seas 5 to 6 feet, occasionally to 8 feet. 
wave detail, north 6 feet at 7 seconds. Isolated showers and thunderstorms until early morning. Saturday, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots. Seas 3 to 5 feet, occasionally to 6 feet. Saturday night, northeast winds around 15 knots with gusts up to 20 knots. Seas 3 to 4 feet, occasionally to 5 feet. Isolated showers and thunderstorms. Sunday, east winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Isolated showers and thunderstorms. Winds and seas higher in and near thunderstorms. The National Weather Service in Tampa Bay, Ruskin has issued a flash flood warning for Hardy County in Central Florida, Hope County in Central Florida, Northeastern DeSoto County in South Central Florida, Highlands County in South Central Florida, Hillsborough County in West Central Florida, Manatee County in West Central Florida, until 6.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. It's 3.12 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Doppler radar indicated heavy rain across the warned area. Between 2 and 4 inches of rain have fallen. Additional rainfall amounts of 2 to 4 inches are possible in the warned area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, flash flooding caused by heavy rain. Source, radar. Impact, flash flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other poor drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Tampa, Lakeland, Plant City, Winter Haven, Temple Terrace, King City, Mardo, Lake Wales, Auburndale, Sebring, Avon Park, Wachula, Lake Placid, Fish Hawk, Brandon, Roots, Anna, January File Village, Medulla and Fussell's Corner. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. Oke okay, guys, kita bisa ya, bisa ya, baik, happy birthday, stay tuned, what, flooding caused by excessive rain.